Hello. Whoa. <laughs> the, whoa. <laughs> I didn't like that. It's uh it's an interesting it's it's a learning curve just hearing your own curve. voice. Yeah, that was um that was interesting. Bit, yeah, you do. If you want to scoot if you want to scoot Hello? your chair. I don't think I'm there you are. I you am are. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. It's just kind of not loud. Um so Ryan, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Um so for the people <laughs> out there, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got to set a pattern. I mean, Cass, come on. You want some water? Sure. <laughs> Go for it. So um, I saw you do it and I had to. <laughs> I had to do it. So um, hold on. I just wrote it down back in my spot. So for the people out there, um, as you know, with our last two episodes, actually with our last episode and with the upcoming episode. So this is episode two, okay. but we recorded episode three earlier. Um, so we had a little screw up with our video with this guy. That guy. We ran out of storage. <laughs> Rookie mistake, you know. So for episodes one and three, the video on Cassidy screwed up. But for this one, we should be good. And if we're not, I'm going to hate my life just to set that straight. So hopefully this is good. Probably going to have to reiterate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just say it a couple times. Um, so we're here. We're here. Yeah. Um, I've been thinking about this for like three days. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I was like, dang, what the hell am I going to talk about? Well, so you just took the SATs. I mean, we're not going to talk about the SATs. How'd you know that? You told me. I did? <laughs> yeah. When? <laughs> you told me this. I was like, when do you want to When do you want to show uh, up? And then you were like, well, I have SATs oh, yeah. until three. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Um, yeah, But fun. how did those go? Was, uh, were those okay? I mean, I they're the SATs. I honestly say that like, the, uh, the prep leading up to it was harder. Mm-hmm. Like I see that. Prep. I was like, I don't more. understand a damn thing on this. <laughs> I would just be like, yeah, look at the answers. Like, yeah, I got that. Right. I got that. Right. <laughs> just make myself feel good. That's how studying goes, though. It, it I mean, that's yeah. how we did it <laughs> back in our day. It, it was no idea. It's it, SATs are stupid. I mean, standardized testing. Why does it exist? It shouldn't exist. They mean well, nothing. That is true. W- yeah. Like schools. Like I was already accepted the most. Or ex- my decision on my schools. They had already decided whether or not they wanted to accept me or decline me before my SAT scores were even in. True. Like, Wait, did we take SATs junior year or senior Wait, year? really? Yeah. Like, some of them were like, yeah, did whatever. They even, like, yeah. require the SAT? Yeah, like, you had, like, yeah, so some when... some schools are test optional. Yeah, so, like, when you but submit... they accepted you before. Yeah, so, so when you submit the SATs, you have to pay a little extra, and then they take time to submit them. Okay. So, while they were in transit to the school... My school had already said, you're in. Oh. So, <laughs> so if you didn't even take those, but you still would have got it. Probably. Oh, well, I mean, they might have been like, you're in, unless your SAT stink, in which case you're gonna, we're going to decline I'm you. I'm sure your GPA was through the roof. Nah, it wasn't. It was what was your GPA? 3.6. Yeah. 2.6. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 4.6. Okay. Mm. That was a joke. No, it was a no joke. joke. <laughs> oh. uh, we like to joke around here. Yeah, <laughs> what right. was it? A 4.1? I don't even know what to call that. That was just... Four two. <laughs> that wasn't a joke. <laughs> We're very. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right. Um, so yeah, the, the SATs don't really matter. Don't fail them. How well, do you feel about an SA or a, uh, ACT? I we didn't take those. N- did we not take them? No. Honestly, I don't remember at all. I didn't take them. <laughs> you might have. Oh wait, you might have. Did I? I think you might have taken the English one. Did I really? No, maybe you didn't. I don't. I don't think they're there. The ACTs are pointless. Yeah, I don't are think they're they? important. What would you, if you had to take one, what would you rather take? SATs because they're more widely accepted. And I think we've been prepping for them more. Yeah, like, like overall, school in general preps easier. you more towards the SATs. SATs. The ACTs that could are, change. Aren't the ACTs math fast though? That's what I heard. Yeah. yeah. I, no, I was thinking about. Should I, like, should I take the ACT or should I take the SAT? Yeah. And there's no like, point. Take the SAT. SATs are <laughs> not better, but they're e- probably easier than like the you ACTs. said, more widely accepted. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. if the s- if eighty percent of the schools I'm going I'm applying to are accepting SATs and only like sixty percent of the ACT. <laughs> Why well, take the ACT? That's true. So. So you did it. Okay. I hope I did. It. Like <laughs> I mean, yeah. there were some problems where I interpreted it as like, oh, x equals y, y equals x. What's z? <laughs> where did z come from? Uh, c. <laughs> so I'd down. be like, my answer is c, Russia. <laughs> write that in. <laughs> that that's a good summation of that. Yeah, I mean that's how most people do it. I have no idea what the make of it. 
Mm. Knock, knock, store. Shut up. <laughs> no, we're going to acknowledge that. So the joke is, I'm going to acknowledge it because he has no idea what that means. So the joke is, we got these mugs mm-hmm. for season two. But I was, every time I take a drink from it, uh, the I say, ASMR. to a knock, knock, store. <laughs> Purchase your own. Although we don't sell these. It's so dumb. No, but it's really funny, though. <laughs> it is kind of <laughs> funny. Yes! He knows what's up! <laughs> it was kind of funny. All right, Um. so let's get into some content. Some content. So, for those that don't know, do you guys know each other? Vaguely. Not, uh, vaguely, vaguely, yeah. Probably, like, passing by. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey. I just was like, oh, yeah, that's Ryan's sister. <laughs> that's how most people <laughs> That's how most people know me. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> that sums up their relationship. Very broad and non-existent. However, Ryan and I met my junior year, so two years ago. Yes, when I was a freshman. We were wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> uh, that was... That Woo! was a time. I was garbage, man. Yes, you were. I was so bad. I was like, Ryan, don't wrestle. Knee. Whoa. Your knees could barely bend. Thanks, man. I would grab your leg, and it wouldn't go like past that. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. Like He's this? not a very flexible person. On the, oh, it, oh. Other way. I, oh. I would go to like, grab your foot. And yeah, other way. The way they're not supposed to bend? No, the way they're supposed to bend. Not like bringing your knee out that or this way. Oh, when I'm bend, sitting down? When bending it. Oh. I had your leg up like that. And I was like, why is your knee bending? So I'd try to push down your knee to isolate it, <laughs> and you'd freak out. And you'd be like, wait, no, wait. no. <laughs> Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I might you remember this. Because you did golf right before it. Oh, and that's you're right. Bending over. These are two different extremes. You have golf, which is all upper body, and then you have wrestling, which is upper body, but also a lot of lower body. Oh, it's everything. <laughs> it's just everything. It's everything. So, we met in wrestling. Mm-hmm. I'd say we became pretty close. I would agree. Yeah. yeah. We, were <laughs> we were not. <laughs> I remember. Go Probably the m- biggest memory I have from my freshman year was when I get you to 100 pounds. Oh, <laughs> we talked about this. Yeah. Um, I So after weigh-ins, just after a practice. Yeah, it was after a practice. We're like, oh, how much did everybody lose? And me and you were like, how much did we gain? And we get to <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So you were, were you over 100 or were you under? No, I was under. You were. Cl- I think you were closer. To, I think we were around the same weight, but I think you were closer than me. Yeah, so after after one of our practices... Um, I was ninety nine nine. No, I was like you were ninety nine point one. No, 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 no. But after one and of then our we practices, were like, you gotta get this kid to chug water right now. No, we did. <laughs> yeah, it was great. And then you hit like ninety nine point nine. You're like, I can't drink anymore. <laughs> and we're like, Frankie Falcone. I was like, Shout rest the Frank. water bottle. You're drinking it. <laughs> and then you finally hit like a hundred and point three. It's great. <laughs> it was wonderful. And then the next morning, I'm sure you're back down. Now you're <laughs> yeah, because it's just all water weight. You just burned it all off. So wrestling. Wrestling. Um, my mom was so against me wrestling. I think, I think, um, I think there are a lot of misconceptions out there about wrestling. What What does your I mom know. conceive as high school wrestling? Well. I don't. I don't want to speak for her, but I think she was more worried about me getting hurt, which I did. True. <laughs> and didn't you get your nose? I have a deviated septum. Yeah, you can. That was some science stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, <laughs> you have a little bit of squishy stuff in your nose. Cartilage. Cartilage. Um, and I got a giant knee to the face one was practice. It right no, it was. Um, hold on, I'm gonna unplug and replug. It was that guy we saw at Staples, right? <laughs> well, we'll get to that. What? Or but, Best Buy, or whatever. <laughs> um, Best Buy. So, um, after, well, actually, this is during one of our practices, and Mr. Supple, shout out to Mr. Supple, if you're listening, you're not listening, um, he was like, ah, oh, shoot, we don't have a 106 to wrestle Ryan. <laughs> um, and this was in the Silver Lake integrated um, practice. Oh yeah. So we had some Silver Lake kids and then Pembroke kids. Yeah. Um, and so he was like, dang, uh, let's get the 140 to wrestle him. So he grabbed the 140. He's like, yo, you wrestle this 106, all right? Be nice. And so, (laughs) as you could imagine, um, we were wrestling. Things didn't go so nice. And so I got a giant knee to the nose. I remember you were bleeding. Dude, it hurt so bad. (laughs) It hurt (laughs) so bad. I thought it broke my nose. I Um, thought it did break your nose. What do you mean? Well, fracture it because it's cartilage. I kind of just put the two together. Yeah, (laughs) they're interchangeable. So um, 
So that happened. Mm -hmm. And then I went home, and I couldn't wrestle for like a month. Yeah. Like a little more than that. Um, And I have a deviated septum. So the cartilage in my nose is bent to one side. Yeah. Not not drastically. You can kind of see it if you're looking straight enough. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. It's it's like curves. Well, look at that. This and then that way and then back down. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, it does. It does. So I have two options here. I could either just live the rest of my life with a deviated septum or what I could do is I could re-break it, um, line it back up, and then have a regular septum. Which would fix like all my breathing problems. Because apparently, when I'm sleeping, I sound like a, a ghost. He sounds um, terrible. I sound gross when I'm sleeping. Um, so I don't <laughs> want. <laughs> Why would you break your nose? I again? know, right? I don't want to break it again. So there's. So I'll obviously be under. I would be like under anesthesia. Is that how it's the sleeping stuff? Yeah, yeah. Anesthesia. I'll be under sleepy gas. They'll. Pop my nose. Experience with sleepy gas. <laughs> wait, really? Wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> wait, what happened? So I had like a, what is that called? It's like a, an N I C H E, a niche. Is that what it's called? It's like what a is precancerous that? little mole, kind of. Had it in my foot. Oh, is it just like a mole? It wasn't. It was moles are moles, right? And then you have like precancerous moles that can't be cancer. And that's why I had it in oh. my foot. Mm. So, it was like changing colors and changing forms and shit. And uh, my mom was like, "That's not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Doesn't That's sound probably right. not right." So we brought we went to our dermatologist, and our dermatologist was like, "Keep an eye on that. <laughs> that doesn't look good." And I was like, "Whoa! It's changing <laughs> colors. It's changing shapes. That's wild." <laughs> <laughs> and um. I end up getting it removed, and I remember I was sitting in the chair with like lights like these. I was like, Ugh. they're putting the mask on. He's asking me questions while I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> I was like, all right, you're putting this on your face. And he was like, what sports do you play? I was like, football. <laughs> I put it back on, and then I remember football. <laughs> falling asleep for however long, and then waking up with my dad. Holding a Dunkin' Donuts coffee. <laughs> He's like, how'd it go? How was that work? And I was like, oh, no, Dad, I was knocked out. <laughs> My mom's like in the chair crying, freaking out. Because that shit's dangerous. Yeah, like Sleepy one wrong gas. step. Because there's like literal professional jobs that deal with just like anesthesia. They pay so much. Because if you money. make a mistake, you could you kill could, someone. You could yeah. kill someone like that. Mm-hmm. It's freaky, and they get paid so much. They get paid like three fifty a year. Yeah, it's and they don't. Ass. They probably don't have to do it that much either. True. Yeah. You get called in like once a week. Yeah, not even maybe. Yeah. Well, probably yeah, once a week. And you're like, yo, you got to put this guy to sleep. <laughs> and I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll just dude. If I was that guy, and I had to put the mask on, I'd be like, yo, God, hopefully this guy doesn't die. <laughs> Yeah, like, uh, two point five seems fine. Give him that much. He's, He's probably forty fine. pounds, five seven. Yeah, just give him the entire tank. So <laughs> <be fine. laughs> just keep him breathing on it. <laughs> Holy That'd crap! That'd be awful. <laughs> well, that's a fun experience. I'm getting like lag when I speak. Yeah, can you like hear yourself? Yeah. Well, no, you can hear yourself, but it's like slightly offset. Yeah. So I feel like. Is it offset? I don't think it is. Wait, maybe it's just me. Hold on. I'm going to steal your headphones. Wait. This is normal. Hello? Hello? Hello. So we're back. Yeah. Is it? It's just me. I think it's just you. Well, this is awkward. Hold up. I'm going to unplug. Unplug. Give it a second. I'm going to put it into another one. Wow. A different one. I'm back. Oh, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Does it sound better? Sounds better. Oh, okay. How Wait, close should I be to this better. thing? Uh, it's pretty sensitive. Well, I'm still lagging, man. <laughs> Whatever, I'll deal with it. Big if deal. I s- if I sound like I'm like drunk or something, <laughs> probably because I am. 
Dude, I'm like mad high right now. That's not what you get for being <sighs> drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I I just find. Let's move on. If it on. seems like I'm drunk, <laughs> yeah, blah, blah, I'm so high right now. Those two don't go together. I get that drunk is. Oh god. Can we move on? I think we've made our point. I do have a lag. You do? Yeah. Do I? I think I do. This has never happened before, that by the way. It sounds good. Well, now. actually, it happened once with Matt Bianco. Uh, Episode twelve. Go listen to it. It's great. Uh, Don't listen to it. It's four hours long. Oh, you I know. know. That was like swiping through, and I was like, four hours long. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, honestly, that's like a very average episode for us. It has like sixty-eight plays, compared really? to like a lower end episode, like episode five, has forty-eight plays. It's not great. It's actually a. Like one of our most popular episodes. And I don't know what, why. The Mapiaco one? Yeah, it's like mid of our episodes. It's not bad. What's the highest viewed one? Uh, wait, hold on, I got this. So it's College versus High School, episode two. Going way back. I watched that one. That, that one, one was, was good. Oh, thanks, man. So it's that one. And then we have just below it, episode four, drama with Abby Bizazaro. Mm -hmm. Has like just a little bit less played. And then. Is she in my grade? Junior. Yeah, she's junior. Yeah. I think I know who that is. Shout out to Abby Bizazaro, episode four. I think I know who that is. She has so curly there's hair, that one. Drama. Yeah. There's a lot of people with curly hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I, I don't trying, know. She's in drama? I'm trying Please, to narrow it down. And then. She plays soccer. And then just below that. It's the love and relationships one, mm -hmm. which was surprisingly really popular for some reason. Actually, Probably people like people tea. need advice. <laughs> well, people like tea. Yeah. Can you? I Spit me some tea. Can we? Okay, good. There's no lag anymore. Yeah. I just uh, stopped it and restarted it at like the same time. So it's fine. We fixed it. We're good. Thank ah, you. Are we good? We're oh, good. yeah, we We're are. So good. Right now. All right. So that happened. Topic of discussion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is a topic of discussion that we could discuss? Hmm. Does it? Does there need to be a topic? Does there? See, like with Max, we talked about nothing. There was no topic. There was. It was just four hours of discussion. I know you didn't chime in. I'm sorry, Cass. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything that you want to talk about? Is there anything that's like on your mind? When I listened to the Trevor one. Okay. You guys were talking about religion, uh -huh. and you guys were talking about astronomy. Ooh. That interested me. Ooh. Not so much the religion Ooh. part, astronomy? but more the astronomy. Astronomy. Okay. So and like the religion behind astronomy. So what's your very like three sentence summary of astronomy in your opinion? Like how three far? Three sentence or three words? Well, like very brief description of astronomy. I mean, not like a definition, but like you got some planets with the galaxy <laughs> inside <laughs> no. a galaxy inside a galaxy. No, but like, what do you do? You believe like, like horoscopes? horoscopes. I think uh, horoscopes are fake. I think they're fake. She thinks they're real. I think they have some. I don't really have too much of an opinion on it because I don't know too much about it. Well, but basically, like, based on what like I think it is, it's kind of horse. <laughs> Thank you. It is. Cass. I disagree. Tell me this, Cass. So you mm -hmm. believe that mm -hmm. the stars that have nothing to do with us have to do with us? They're the most irrelevant thing. They are millions of light years away. In fact, some of them could be dead. The light is just still traveling towards us. That's crazy. To think yeah, that's that pretty is, bonkers if you think about it. So that's light nuts. travels at mm -hmm. 3 to the 8th meters per second. That's 3 million meters per second. No, that's 3 to the 6th. Math. Um, I'm it, travel, I'm it travels math wicked fast. Oh. It travels <laughs> mad fast. <laughs> That's right. I went to the grocery store. And my <laughs> mom's like, hey, what's a better deal? This two for five and the fruity pebbles or the... Like three for seven. I'm like, I'm not doing that, Mom. I can't. It's not that I can't. It's just well, Mom, let me just pull up my TI-83 Silver Edition real fast and jam that out for you. I think I had a Texas instrument or something like that. Man, those things are big. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. We Back to astronomy. Bananas. We bought bananas today. Fun fact. <laughs> you guys are just at Walmart, right? Yeah. What cereal did you buy? I saw you bought Rice Krispies. Yeah. Did you buy any like good like good stuff? No. It doesn't concern me. So. Get like Fruit Loops, man, I or like like Fruit Apple Loops Jacks. My my cereal when I was like <sighs> seven years old. We had those for like years, and then when we hit like ten or like twelve, we just stopped. We went to like Cheerios, 
apple cinnamon Cheerios. Cheerios are what you eat when you don't know how to chew. <laughs> <laughs> you're just kind of like on your table when you're sitting in your like little chair. You're like <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, they're for like two year olds. And then like you just spit like them out of your mom. <laughs> And your mom just wants to, like, punt you across the room. <laughs> this sounds like a personal experience. Want to talk about it? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so back to astronomy. Back to astronomy. Back <laughs> the to the topic at hand. So my thing about astronomy <laughs> is that great. I don't care. Like, constellations are cool, man. Hey, if, if the stars make a shape in the sky, that's awesome. But the instant we start putting meaning into that, like, oh, it means something, that's when I kind of pull out the challenge flag, you know? That's my take on it. Pull out the red block. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely not a. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's the like meaning behind how it got its meaning? If that makes so, sense. So, so nobody knows. Well, actually, someone probably does know. There's probably professionals out there. This is a question I have. You know how there's like Greek goddesses and whatever. Yeah. yeah. How did those become a thing? Science well, nobody believes too. in them anymore. Let's start with that. Anymore. No. Why is that? Well, because we've. I don't really know. But it used to be like a Greek thing. And like Odysseus and stuff. That was yeah. cool. that was fun to well, learn about. So like yeah. Odyssey, I think that was just a myth. I think it was written as a book, right? Okay. Or no? Wait, no, that wouldn't make sense though. Maybe so- I don't know, sirens and shit. That was like that was like. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. Like that's the only thing I genuinely wanted to read <laughs> while in freshman English class. It was actually wicked interesting. And then it went to Of Mice of Men, and I was like, this shit's not <laughs> Yeah, Mice of Men is gross. Good story, but it's such a sleeper. Like, it's a good story, like, two years after you read it. You, like, remember back, oh, yeah, Mice well, of Men. Well, you kind of read it. You don't really read it. You just listen to, like, the summaries of chapters <laughs> from your teacher. And then, like, you realize, wow, this <laughs> r- guy got shot in the head. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you don't realize that when you're reading it. You're just like, <laughs> It's up to interpretation. Is- Especially ill. Like, you really have to interpret that stuff. Like, you don't, though. Especially in my freshman brain. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it's like... Freshman brain, there's 2.2. <laughs> <laughs> hey, up there. movement. Going up. That's good. Right, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So, a prime example of what I'm talking about is Shakespeare. Nobody knows what he's saying. <laughs> you really need to, like, okay, read I it. Okay, I used to hate Shakespeare, and then and now translate I respect it. Shut up. We, we can't. I'm just saying. I used to hate him so much. Explains it. everything. I can't read it. Miss Maroka is like Shakespeare. Miss Maroka's like, the best. Okay, she I did is. like Miss Maroka. She is. She is awesome. She's fun. She's a fun teacher. Mm-hmm. But what she teaches is not <laughs> <laughs> like Monte Cross. Monte, Monte Cristo. Oh yeah. Good book. That was okay. a really good book. Right, we agree. I thought you were gonna say crap book. We were gonna have a, a big down. problem. No, that was we're a good book. A that was a really good book. Um, whole bunch of twists. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like, mm-hmm. Like, normally when you hear about, oh, wow, he's digging for gold underground, it's like, this book's gonna be sh-. <laughs> <laughs> And then it's like, wow, this guy, fu- he, like, took his wife. He's gonna try and kill him. And then his dad owns him. He's put him in jail. <laughs> he ripped up his note, put it in fire, and you're like, damn. This you ever think about working for Spark Notes? Because you do a great job. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, what happened was he ripped up his book and threw his dad in jail, and that was it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sweet. So that's all I got to know. Spark notes. <laughs> <laughs> A plus. So Les Mis. Did you I like Les Mis. Les Mis Rob. No. You didn't read that? Did Wait, you no. have Miss Maroka for sophomore year? No. Uh, yeah, I did. I Sophomore year, we read Night by Ellie Wiesel. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. All the sophomore books are actually pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Ellie Wiesel with Night. You know what's really confusing with that? Kind of off, Not really off topic. That summer, I had to read the... Night's the first one, right? Yeah. Of the, f- like, two or three they have. Well, the first one we read was Night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, the like the series of that. Oh, you read the series? series? I had, so for summer reading, I had to pick a book uh-huh. mm-hmm. between, like, four books. And it was the second one of the Night series. Kinda I like the, know I think it was the series. Aftermath. It was, like, uh-huh. a war or something like that. I did not know that. And I was reading it, and I was like, none of this shit makes sense. <laughs> and then I read Night, and she's <laughs> like, yeah, that's the first one to the second one. I was like... Why was the second one? Why was it a summer reading choice that was going to be? I don't know. Yeah, why would you do that? Didn't even read it. I was like, this is not worth my time. It's like if you went to like the Harry Potter series and you've never read it and you're like, hey, let's read book five first. And then three years later, let's read book one. That's so weird. You just go out of context. (laughs) It's good thinking. (laughs) But then you have like, like the Star Wars movie where it's like all in order. (laughs) And then someone makes sense of it. 
Well, how do I feel about that? Because they're prequels, and they're built like prequels. But could you spin the Night series to be prequels? Like no the w- way. You but, can't screw up history. But can you – oh, true. Yeah, you couldn't read book two of a series and then go back to book one. Well, unless it's based like a fiction, maybe. Or unless it's supposed but to be that this is a, like a historical fiction or a historical Yeah, it's like non-fiction. based on true events. Yeah, yeah. well, I know Night event. was uh, like a nonfiction, historical yeah. Yeah, nonfiction. Yeah. Was it a bibliography? Mm. Autobiography. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> right? He wrote it himself. Uh, yeah. He wrote it himself. Oh, was it about him or was it about like – It was about s- him and his experiences. Oh, okay. Yeah. So autobiography. Yeah. It was really good. It was really good. But Spoiler I felt alert. really bad. You guys have read it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Spoiler alert for anyone who's listening or watching. The part where, like, he debated, I think it was him or his dad debated running into the electrical fence. Cause it oh, that's die. right. I remember that. That was, up. Yeah. That was scary. You, that's really sad. And, like, the people getting ran over in the snow. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't remember that part. Well, I mean, I'm they not were heading to a... Uh, Auschwitz or uh, yeah, it was Birkenauer. They were walking oh. Birkenauer, and everyone just ran out. Some people ran out of energy, so they just oh, fell in the snow. Just, yeah, and you had to keep walking whether That's it was so sad. over them or next to them. You know what's crazy? Um, this is kind of delving into a political thing, but people think like the Holocaust was fake. I know. Like, how can you believe that? I, I don't. Oh my god, this thing! It just died again. <laughs> God. Hold up. I brought up a charger for this exact purpose. reason. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Can you guys plug it in? Sorry, we're, uh, Damn. We're kind of new in the video developing. Scene. No, we're really not. You're just unprepared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh my gosh, your house jinx. So mean. Good point. Refill time. Bring up a good point. Whoa, what have we got going on here? Fuck. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> top one. Oh, the top one? <laughs> yeah, it's you. I want to get this back recording so we can get back to it. But we can talk about it while we're while I'm being an idiot. Mm-hmm. So I <laughs> I preface this episode by saying, yeah, we're fine. But then this dies. <laughs> And that was totally preventable. I could just plug <sighs> it in. Total preventable. Oh, man, I couldn't talk because I did that. Mm-hmm. Um, what was I saying? Something about politics. Oh, the oh, Holocaust being people fake. Being how can pe- how can if you're okay? That doesn't make any sense. You can't. I that. really hope nobody in our audience thinks, or anybody thinks that the Holocaust. Like the is person who came up with the idea was like, I want to make people really pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> or that that or they're just. People live in. Peop- some people, well, people live don't want to believe it. Some people yeah. just don't believe anything. I don't think it's like that. I think it, I don't think it's people like oh, I don't believe that. It's like I don't want to believe that. That w- well, see then, oh, man, like that's, that's so really scary. dark. Man. But like, if they had their way, die? like they could rewrite history. You just block that out. I, I'm Isn't this. that scary? Oh I man, know, that's what I'm saying. I yeah. didn't even think about that. Imagine if Hitler actually like came through. And like, he's fighting this double double front war and whatever, <laughs> takes out Russia. Yeah. Now it's up to the U.S. to defeat the Germans. Uh-huh. They lose, say. What happens? True. We'd Hitler always speak in keeps German. control oh. of Poland. Hitler keeps control of Czechoslovakia. Keep doing dark Belgium. Story. Um. Hmm. It's just a scary thought. Some people just <laughs> like how much land did he control at that time? Um, I know he controlled Belgium. Oh, I don't, I he went through know. Belgium to get through France. I think he had France too. Hold on, wait. We're gonna look this up. I, pre- I probably already looked this up. Looking, I was like studying for this test. <laughs> Countries that Hitler controlled. I'm gonna feel really stupid when I figure this out. Oh, okay, it's another concept or idea of World War Two. This turned into World War Two. Went from religion to astronomy. Hey, this is what we like. This is religion like a conversation. Um, How do you think yeah. Hitler died? The, the, the okay, there's like a conspiracy there's that conspiracy. he is. Do you want to get into this? 
because there's no chance he's alive. I think I think he committed suicide. I think he'd be wicked old to begin with. Yeah, he he. Say we're thirty years back after the war, whatever. Not after the war, you know what I mean. Thirty years before. Yeah, yeah. And he's what? Turning seventy, maybe per se, seventy-five. Thirty years after the war. Like thirty years ago from now, we're looking oh. back at it. Because uh, now it's just unrealistic. There's not yeah. gonna be a hundred and five year old dude roaming around Argentina. Just chilling. Yeah. And you wouldn't be able to recognize him either. What? Okay, so Yeah. What? There's no way. Yeah. How much do we control? There's no chance. I think I'm just really bad. I never, oh, oh. never mind. <laughs> so he yeah, controlled Russia. the Western Soviet, Estonia, I thought that was Russia. Latvia. Well, damn, he really had a lot of land. Yeah. Um, yeah. Western Poland, Netherlands, Germany, Belgium, France, yeah, Austria, Poland. Italy, Yugoslavia. Hold on, he Greece. had Italy. I didn't know that. Italy is part of the. I feel like Italy is such like a weird country. Now. Benito Mussolini. He was part. Of, he was fascist. That's right. Man, I need to get up. Um, Spain and Portugal were neutral. How can you be neutral? They weren't neutral. Nah, hold on. Well, this is ni- this is a 1942 graph. Or I know they map. didn't end up. Hold on. They must have at some point no, been allies. Spain ended up um, going against Hitler. I remember. Oh, they were. Oh. I'm pre- I'm almost positive. Um, and then Romania, France, I know Argentina Hungary, was them for a little bit. Croatia, mm-hmm. and Bulgaria were all allied to Germany. Bulgaria is a crazy Western country. That's that's insane. There's some crazy people over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I know a guy from Bulgaria. He's nuts. I know a guy. <laughs> he, he wrestles, but like he's well, nuts. Course. He's a lunatic. Was did he come here? No. Oh, okay. No. I met him at like a at a wrestling thing in Virginia. He was just oh, like, really? a lunatic. <laughs> um. Nuts. Oh, we're gonna. See. Oh, how did Hitler die? I think when he bl- he blew up his uh, secret lair, was it? Did he blow it up? I heard he just like I thought he just killed shot himself. Him. himself. Yeah. Oh, he didn't blow. It. He was just. I, I he, think I heard I he killed his the I didn't his hear. dog, right? His dog, then his wife, and then his wife, yeah, and then himself. Yeah, but yeah. apparently, he had escape routes, like out of there, mm, like yeah, but. In his shoes, would you want to escape? Because they find Because then you. you're wanted at that point. You have, you have a target on your head. You're yeah. wanted by the entire <laughs> the entire world. And imagine like yeah. being with him and then not even knowing he was still alive. Yo. you bump into him. Yeah. No. Damn. Yeah, sorry. Like you're not some knowing. you're like you're from Italy. You're all, you were under control from Benito Mussolini. You fled to Argentina. And you're going about your day, going to get some bread. And you look to the sidewalk and you see Hitler. Just chilling. You just bump you see into Adolf Hitler. Hitler. You bump into him. His bread falls everywhere. Well, did they have plastic surgery back then? I don't think they did. Did they? He wouldn't have gone. Well, hold on. They were doing some crazy shit in World War Two, and in Germany in the Holocaust. True. Yeah, I would have been past Germany. Some crazy <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> they could have. I mean, all. I mean, the mustache was one thing. They could just shave that off. Yeah. Change the hair. But still, everyone knew his face. True. A lot of people from Germany had, did have blonde hair, so he could have easily played that role. True. You know what's even weirder to think about? Down in his family line, he was Jewish. His yeah, well, grandma or something like that. that. Like, why? Why? What possible? And he would kill well, people. He would go into their records, and if you had any, like, uh, oh, reminisce any of, like, not even, like, blood Jew related, like, like, uh, the religion, Jews, like Judaism. Say your grand, like, your great 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 grandmother was Jewish. She'd be like, your great 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 grandmother was Jewish. You're going to the gas chambers. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. That's so weird. But the same thing with him. His great, great, Someone should have just called him. Well, no, you can't call him out. He has everything at that point. It was really fucked up. Do you know I learned in world, war, er, uh, his, world history recently? What? That America knew about it. Wait. Uh, they had They knew know. about the like the Holocaust itself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. That, we knew. Like, I, he just, like, who was giving out papers. Was it Wilson? Eisenhower? Oh, yeah. I was going to say Eisenhower. Eisenhower like led the, all the Allied forces in the oh, war. Oh, okay. So and then he became president after. Oh, okay. Woodrow Wilson, right? No. No. I it was knew Roosevelt. Roosevelt was 
before it, and then he died. Of like it may, maybe it was Roosevelt. Suddenly. Yeah. Oh, I think it was Roosevelt. It was, one it was Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt. I think it was Theodore. I know it was one of the Roosevelts. Roosevelt. Then by process of elimination, has to be um, president. Was it my Theo? Was it my guy Theo? President during World War Two. Yeah, Franklin Roosevelt. Okay, thanks. <laughs> um. So didn't he initially want to stay out of the war? Well, yeah, America wanted to stay out of the war. America wanted to stay out of the war. And, and then, then the Pearl Harbor hit. Yeah. And they're like, oh, it's personal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, dang, bro. When Japan was just like, yo, let's take over everything. And then they saw Hawaii. They're like, you guys want to do this? And then like the Empire dude was like, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> and then... The people who are like Japanese Americans in Hawaii were given the Empire of Japan information, and then they Pearl Pearl Harbor landed on a Sunday, uh-huh. which is a church day. Uh, that's that's and a low. day where the troops on. In, uh, on Pearl Harbor are in. They aren't on duty. Man, thought I'd take my test for. All right, <laughs> sorry about that. We're back. Sorry for some reason our thing just screwed up. I don't know what it was. I don't know what went wrong, uh-huh. but it's back. Um, you were talking about Joe Rogan. What were, what were we talking about ori- originally? We were talking about World War Two. Yeah. All right. So Hitler is a bad guy. If you think that the Holocaust was a, cons- if you think the Holocaust was a conspiracy, you're wrong. Well, I just think that some people like just say no, it, does, it didn't happen. Yeah, there are some yeah. people who even say that. Yeah. And people who say Earth is flat. Don't even. Oh my oh God! God. <laughs> don't, don't even get me going. Okay. Okay. That. So, people that believe that the Earth is flat are just straight up denying science. You're just straight up denying science. No, they're you're, just idiots. You're just going off of your senses, which are super small in comparison to the size of the Earth. They're What's like, their oh, reasoning? Uh, see this, this water, it's level, it's not round like the Earth, or like this. You see, when I go outside, I don't see a round Earth. I just walk straight. Tell me why I can't see the buildings in Boston. <laughs> True, <laughs> right? Like little things like Past that. the horizon. It's just the small things like that. And you're like, well, I can... And, and how can how can you explain flying a plane That's true. around the world? Why can't you see all the planes flying? Right? And they say, oh, the, the sun is only like 5,000 miles above the Earth's surface. It's like hundreds of millions of miles away. No, it's not. That's a lie. It's like... I don't know why I'm blank on this. I think it's millions. I'm pretty sure it is. Because I think the, the moon is like a couple hundred thousand or a hundred thousand. Oh, I was right. 92.96 million miles from the Earth. Yeah. And they say it's only 5,000 miles. It would be burning. 5,000 miles is How like... How could they say that? And be, Well, because they have to. Because if you think about if it, it, if the 5, Earth... was 5,000 miles, we'd be burned to a crisp. Exactly. But if the Earth is flat, they can't be like, well, it's wicked far away, because then you would see the sun at all times. If it's low, then they can say, well, then that means the sun revolves around the Earth. That's why oh, night and day, and they think the moon and the sun rotate around each other. So that's why you have if day. If the sun's that big, you'd be able to see it. Exactly. It'd be a time. monster. And if the... Time out. If the, the fucking the sun were that close to the Earth... Yeah. We'd be toast. <laughs> yeah. We'd be getting Nutella put on us. <laughs> We'd be all done. <laughs> We'd be finished. Man, I I don't know how you can think that the Earth is flat. Um, it goes against all science. There is not a single scientific piece of evidence. How do they that explain you know, the pictures that they take from space? Of they, the they, they think it's just Photoshop. They think Photoshop. it's just Photoshop, which is doo-doo. <laughs> Even if you believe that, and even if you think that's true, there's still the fact the sun is wicked far away. Have you seen the video of when Neil Armstrong, some kid, oh, someone, came up to him, yeah, someone came up to him was like, yeah. moon landing was fake, and he just punched him right in the jaw. <gasps> wait, wait, really? Yeah. Him? I don't punched remember that. Punched him right in the jaw. <laughs> it was bad. I don't know if it was Neil Armstrong. <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> But some guy was like, moon landing's fake. And he was just like, stop it, it's fake. And then the video was just... Wow. Popped him. It was sick. He's still alive, right? That's why I was just thinking, like, is he alive? I don't know. How old is Neil? <laughs> you both to go to look it up. Two thousand twelve. He's old. 82. Wow. Wait, why didn't I hear about this? 
He died seven years ago. Definitely, definitely wasn't Neil Armstrong, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I forget who it was. It was some guy that was some, on. Probably some like astronaut. It might. It, w- it could have been another one. I mean, it was definitely another one. It was some on the same trip, maybe. Guy. Um, man, punched him. It was awesome. Ugh. Flat Earth. I. Uh, that's such a weird thing to think. Yeah. Hey, man. So yeah. where was, was there like a, a place for you to fall off? Or yeah. Well, no. They argue that there's just an Arctic wall. It's just gi- like in Game of Thrones. <laughs> there's just a giant wall of ice surrounding the Earth. But global warming, that's coming down. <laughs> <laughs> You're all yeah. done. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we don't see denying global warming. So in your argument, the well, some people the don't believe it's coming go. down. <laughs> man, global warming. People believe this. Um, you don't believe in global? No, no, I do, okay. I do. But oh, some people, oh, some there. people believe that it's not existent, and there is a difference. So some people believe that global warming is just fake. It's not happening. We're not, we're not gonna. The Earth isn't warming up. Some people believe, and this is kind of where I fall, and it's kind of what happens. Um, the misconception is, um, people that are like, well, the Earth isn't gonna die in twenty years. Um, people that think that are just automatically put into global warming deniers. So the thing about global warming is that nothing's going to happen now. Nothing's happening now. Nothing's going to happen in five years. Maybe something might happen but in But things years. are happening right now. But things are changing, and it's going to get a lot worse in the future if we don't stop you know, burning uh, coal, you know, releasing carbon into the air. Um, we need to turn to natural energy like sun energy, wind, water, that sort of stuff. Because what we're doing is we're releasing a lot of um, toxins that carbon, uh, all sorts of garbage into the air, and that's heating up the earth. So it's not affecting us right now. The greenhouse effect. Exactly. It's going to heat up a lot over time. It's heating up really, really slowly, but it's going to be really, really it's hard like to reverse. trying to slow cook your ribs. <laughs> exactly. It's like Except we're the ribs. You don't have, exactly. <laughs> we are that's the what ribs. I'm saying. <laughs> we are the we're ribs. We're a can of saltines. So, so people that say... <laughs> Uh, hey man. Uh, if global warming's a thing, then why is it negative sixty degrees in the Midwest? That's not global warming. That's just weather. There's a difference between climate and weather. Climate oh, no, is the too. overall weather of the Earth. That's gonna be the and change. Uh, everything set aside, it can get cold in the Midwest. <laughs> yeah, you can have really cold weather and global warming. Like my brother's still in Oklahoma right now, and oh, yesterday it was the army. Oh, oh lit. And uh. It was like what, twenty three out yesterday. Mad cold. Yeah, tornadoes flying all around there. <laughs> but the the Midwest is supposed to be warm. Oh, oh, please no. Uh, that's the global warming doesn't exist because it's really cold somewhere. Not so global warming, it exists. Whether or not it's human made and whether or not it's. Majorly, the human's fault. Oh, it is the human's fault. <laughs> it, <laughs> it is. All our fault. It is. Yeah. But you can debate that. People debate that. You can't. How? Debate that. How can you? You can't. There's no. What's reason the I don't know, man. There's no reason. I don't look argument. into this. It's not an argument. That We're I the ones have. frying steak. <laughs> <laughs> and smoking cigarettes. We're so, so <laughs> basically, in order to stop global warming, we got to take all the carbon in the air and shove it back down underneath the earth where it was. Really? Basically. Or, or just start driving electric cars because that's well, the even biggest then, problem. The carbon is still in the atmosphere. I that think if you still if, there. I, if everybody in the world were to change to an electric car, that would every, be awesome. everybody would start changing to to solar because that's how you normally mm-hmm. charge up a uh, like a charging port one. for an electric car. Well, yeah, I I really want to have us go solar. I'm trying to convince our parents to go and solar. And it's even better because if you have solar panels for, like, X amount, I forget, I forget how, long, how long it yeah, is. Yeah, they start paying they for start, themselves. Like, yeah. you start making yeah, money. Exactly. The government pays you for your energy that you produce, which is, you know. It's wild. It's you don't have to pay for about. any energy, which is. It, granted, really you have awesome. to have them for, like, a long ass time. Yeah. But. Long run. If you make more energy than you use, you sell it to the government. I'd rather just have my taxes just kind of, <laughs> like, <laughs> chilled out. <laughs> It's like, I don't really care about my energy, dude. Just kind of lessen my taxes. For that me. would be great. I think that's smart. That'd be sweet. Um, I don't have to worry about that right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're way, from, <laughs> we're so far from all. You and I aren't. We're like, man, we're almost, ad- we're, we're almost like full-fledged adults, man. You are adults. We are adults. Well. By law. 
by law. <laughs> we're still teenagers, but by law we're adults. Uh, yeah. Um Woo! I'm gonna be a senior next year. Wow. Yo, are you gonna take any APs? I don't know. I'm thinking about AP Psych and uh, AP That's Psych. Like I hear AP, AP Psych Euro is the best. European history or something like that. Ooh, we that's a have, thing? We didn't have that. I would have totally yeah. taken it. Man, I might have taken that, actually. No, Ms. Goff was like, you need to no, take, I'm, you no, pass I'm, your classes. And I was like... <laughs> <laughs> when you're I, right, you're right. When, when I said I might have taken that, I meant, oh, if that existed, I might have taken it. Oh, I thought you said just like, like oh, hypothetically yeah. speaking. Yeah, I know. I, that was poor word choice. I mean, I part. like World War II and World War One, so like that shit interests that's, me. Yeah, I like I that's all European stuff. Than the US. Oh, world history yeah. is so much better. Mm-hmm. I don't want to learn about US boring, depressing man. era. <laughs> yeah, we had the Great Depression. Isolationism. That was about it. Screw that. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was a history thing. Yeah. Y- you can talk about trench warfare, World War One. Was that, that was, was that crazy. two? That no, was one. That was one. That was one. The tiger traps, I think they're called. Wait, wait, wait. wait where uh, Sis is the, the ground. Uh huh. And then. The what they do is, version. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> 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 they dig a hole. So uh-huh. it's like that. Uh huh. So it's like this. Uh huh. And they have like sticks and like oh. leaves covering it. And then underneath it, it's like little wooden spikes. Oh, God. Lit. So when like a U.S. troop ran through at the field, they'd fall and get impaled. That was one of their huge ones. They, <laughs> the estimated number that they killed was like ten thousand. Wait, who like used it Hold against on. the U.S.? Yeah, they killed people. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I forget. Uh, it was trench war. It was part of trench war. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Would it be Vietnam. It was in Vietnam. It was in Vietnam. Yeah. What? I learned about that. That's. Dude, oh well, that makes there was more a sense lot of in deaths Vietnam. in Vietnam. Yeah, okay, cause you're just playing we did not do well there. Yeah, that was no. kind of <laughs> we, poor we choices on our part. <laughs> we should we not have taken L. that. We did take the L. Oh, we <laughs> Vietnam one, U.S. zero. We were stupid. <laughs> we were mad stupid. Wasn't wasn't that the one where they just another book I read? They just dropped Vietnam. people from helicopters. Like, yeah. go at them, go for it. Parachute wasn't that the one, or was that the Korean War? Which came first, that. Vietnam or Korea? Vietnam, right? Oh, what was the question? Vietnam or Korea? Which came first? The war, not. The I think it was Vietnam. I'm pretty sure Vietnam. Vietnam, was. yeah. But we have the power of the internet on our side. Yeah. Imagine being in 1970 and not having this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's go check the encyclopedia. Who was the first, <laughs> who's the first president? Was it that guy? Yeah, didn't you call? I think that I think back then when you had telephones like corded telephones. <laughs> You had corded telephones and no internet. You would call places to get information. Like, you would call, like, people would wake up. They would have their phone by their bedside table. They would call a station in order to get the weather. Like, what's the weather in Boston? Tennessee? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd be like, uh, it is currently 73 degrees. It's 2 in the morning. Don't f- <laughs> call me. <laughs> but I think it was automated. <laughs> But yeah, that'd be funny. I, for a second, I was like, "Yo, Do you mean I'm calling someone I don't know to yo, figure out the weather?" If that, it might have. You know what? It might have been that for a long time. When, when like back in the twenties, back in the twenties, when you had just just people sitting behind telephones, and you had like the aux cables that they would plug into things, <laughs> and be like, "Oh, your caller forty three. We're gonna plug into channel sixty seven. Here's that." And then you just keep it unplugged. You're like, I'm <laughs> yeah. not answering this guy. This guy's. A- <laughs> <laughs> Calls every morning at 3 a.m. Man, you had humans doing that. Now we have we have phones, man. We have the internet. We have robots. Like imagine being in 1970 and we're having the debate about who the president was. <laughs> and then it just causes a heated argument and then physical <laughs> you, altercations you have come fists in. being thrown. All right, so the Vietnam War went from 1955 to 1975. Holy crap. Um, Korea. Yeah. They might have overlapped then. Yeah, Korea was like 60s, right? I just yeah. read a book. Like two 50 months to ago. 53. Oh, it was before that. Korean came first. Really? That's a great trivia question. <laughs> it was three years. Trivia crack. Very educational. Yo. I, like I remember that. App. I remember yeah. when it was the sh and it everyone had it. The mm-hmm. And then, best like, thing you could two do. months later, they're all like, this is like Quizlet. <laughs> 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 then That's everyone got rid of it. It's making a little bit of a come up right now, though. Is it? I haven't, I I haven't played never, it in I've years. I've never not liked it. I, I know. I've always liked it, though. I was just like, uh. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I have a trivia question. I'm just thinking back to all the wars that happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a history more. lesson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, gross. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. I, I like mean, history. hey, if you're, if you're learning something. 
I mean, if I were a brick listening to this, I would have learned something. <laughs> if I were a brick. <laughs> I would have. Yeah, so, yeah, so sorry, sorry. All right, good. Um, this is the only one I'm worried about. I'm not worried about the iPad. I'm not worried about this one. Um. Hmm. I was gonna say something. I completely lost my thought. Wait. No. Wanna go back to religion? Oh, right. That was the other thing you brought up. I was trying to think. The fuck were that's we what we were talking about before your oh. technical difficulties. That's right. That's what we were talking. About. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway. And then um, me and Cassie started talking about language. Mm-hmm. Wait. What do you mean? Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. Spanish. Hola, senor. <laughs> Wait, did I miss that? Yeah. I you were you like... <laughs> <laughs> we were like, you so... Like, Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> and you were like, <laughs> is it working? <laughs> we're like, yeah, we're going good. And they were like... <laughs> Hitler. Yeah. Hitler. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Yeah, because I didn't just interrupt the conversation. I'm sorry, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now so, we're talking about again. We were talking about astrology and religion. That was mm-hmm. what you wanted to bring up. That's right. And I think it would be only fair if we could bring it up. Because you're the guest. Fair. Um, which one do you talk about first? Because we kind of touched on astronomy already. Yeah. Right? You kind of, like, how, d- I don't know if you guys know this, because I don't. Please how did, know. like, the Greek gods. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Like, like how Achilles, d- for example. I get that he was dipped into some crazy hot sauce. So. The river in most the of it, underworld, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Most of it started as stories. Like, like on, way back. like, Egyptian walls or some shit. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you're like, talking about? Like. Sure. <laughs> you know, just to make it simple, we'll talk about the Egyptian gods because then we can refer to the true. Um, All right. What is that called? The writing on the, the walls. Hieroglyphs. The hieroglyphics. Do you know now, like the Egyptian like president or whatever you want to call it, yeah, isn't letting like ex- like explorers like explore certain like pyramids or something like that. Yeah, makes sense. It doesn't. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> it what? doesn't. Wait, hold well, on. Maybe he's we just something. He's turning into a dictator, so he's controlling. Never mind. I thought he was like, oh, you can't. Part. He's being, well, he's he, before president. he wasn't really turning, I, I remember like American or like, like British dudes were like, hey, we want to go and like see what's inside this shit. And they've done that before. They've gone deeper oh. into like that stuff and like oh. saw mummies and shit, whatever. I misinterpreted that then. And then uh, <laughs> he was like, F- no. <laughs> they, were like, they were like, what? We've done this shit before. <laughs> and he's like, Mm-mm. go back to your homeland. <laughs> Yeah, and they're all just like, "What the fuck is that guy? He's <laughs> his cereal. What the heck, man? We just want to explore some shit." <laughs> That's pretty much what it came down to, and he was like, Mm-mm, "Not happening." <laughs> they were dark on stories. Um. <laughs> anyway. So we were ta- <laughs> um. You we were talking. Oh, right, the Egyptian gods. Well, yes. Egyptian gods. Well, then so like most of it started out as stories that they wrote on the walls of the pyramids. And then at some point, it became passed as fact. Or the people, so think about it this Well, no, way. they believed in it as their gods. And they wrote well, no, stories but, some, but his question was, how did it start? And this is my opinion. I don't know actually what happened. So but the way I happened. think it started was they started out as stories. And then someone was like, dang, that's a good story. And then they started No, they actually believed in the gods. No, and then no, they but wrote the at some point, at some someone point, had to make that. Someone had to yeah. think it up and be like, Yo, Egyptian gods, Ra, or Bastet, Sirkat, uh, what? I play, okay, this is going to sound really nerdy. Oh, God. I play a game called Smite. It's based on ancient mythology. So it That's has a bunch sick. of. It is. So it has a bunch of different pantheons. So you have like Egyptian, uh, Mayan, um, Chinese. Interest me. My, uh, I said Maya, Norse, like Thor. Um, it has a bunch of different what? gods from those pantheons. And they're characters in the game, and they fight each other. That's basically what happens. It's a MOBA. It's like League of Legends. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the, except it's from a third-person point of view instead of, like, bird's-eye view. But anyways, that's how I know how True. those gods exist. So gods like that started in my – what I think. They started as stories. And then someone at some point misinterpreted it and took it as a fact and then started pat- passing it off as a fact. I'm lagging here. But they were passed off as facts, and then they carried on. So people were like, yo, fact. These gods exist. Let's write them on the walls. Bam. 
No, How do you think they actually communicated verbally, though? Because they, they had language. their own way. They just drew shit out. That was their language. They drew what they were thinking or what they wanted well, to Well, no, see. they had spoken language as well, but that's, how, like, the only thing that we know of them is by their drawings. Yeah. That's wild. Imagine what yeah. they said. They're like, ooh, ooh, ah. And they're like, <laughs> that means, hey, how was your day going, Jimmy? <laughs> Great, dude. How was yours? That's just wild to me. That's the same thing with language we talk about. You could be <laughs> speaking to someone in Russian or like <laughs> German and like Bliskek Mukha. Well, it's all based on what you're raised. So it like is. we're really raised is. in an we're raised to speak English. But if we were raised in Spain, we would be raised to speak Spanish. There's some people. Remember and that girl from Spain that came to Pembroke? I forget her name. She was kind of a short. bunch of people did. Yeah. But they Wait, was this recent? No. It was when I was a freshman. You were in school still. Maria? Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. She was in my Spanish class. Oh. I, I think don't. I think that she, the way I think she told me, was like she learned English and Spanish, but Spanish predominantly because English is such like a dominating Ooh. language. That's interesting. I think we should do that, like kindergarten, like start learning a different language. Well, that's how, you, how you're supposed to learn a language. You yeah, start with the basics. From like a young kid. And then you start repeating the basics. That's how you have to do it. That's yeah. how you grow a dialect. That's how you grow an accent. Yeah, you can't just... Start speaking. Like, Maybe psychology. Weird. I forget who it was. There was some girl that was locked in, like, her room for, like, 11 or 12 years. You know what I'm talking Yeah. yeah. You guys just point at each other, <laughs> like, I know exactly this kid's talking um, about. It, I forget her it's name. A, it's a Hulu series now. It's a Gypsy. Hulu? No, that's different. She, her Jeannie? Mo- Jeannie. Yeah, I, Jeannie. Yeah, like, the, you're talking about a different girl. I am? I yeah. thought it was the same person. Yeah. Jeannie. But, yeah, I know what you're talking about. She was just she, she was, was sat in the chair. She sat yeah. in it cha- the chair was like a, a like a, a sh- teeny tiny chair. It was a sh- essentially. It was a chair with a hole for her sh- and pee. <laughs> That's what it Spark was. Spark notes version, guys. Hey Spark notes, <laughs> if you're listening, hire this kid. <laughs> he would do. He would work. It's well. fucked. It's that like, is really like really bad. She was locked in a chair with her hands chained and now, her feet chained. I think the parents had some sort of mental. They did. Yeah. Things yeah, going on. You have to. You and can't. Then when she was let out, because she always sat all the time. She couldn't. She, could, she, could she couldn't walk. She could. The big thing was she couldn't walk. Yeah. Like, that was the big thing to me. That's what I noticed. And then she couldn't speak. She couldn't do anything. And she then was a toddler. What the like the environment did to her was they kept her. They were deciding whether to use it as an experiment. Oh they yeah. Deciding to use it as like yeah. We need to make this go normal again. Yeah, so, so what they went back and forth. She went from a hospital to a yeah. foster house. I remember yeah, learning yeah. about this in psych. And then yeah. she went to the mom eventually. Yeah, I learned about this. Foster that, was, that was bad. Yeah. I learned about this in sociology with Miss Place. Shout oh, out yeah. to Miss Place. She's still alive, too. She's Is she? still alive? I think so. Is her name Jeannie? Jeannie. Man, she's still alive. That sucks. <laughs> Holy crap. Jeannie. Wow. God, how do I even describe <laughs> what I'm looking for? Um, so I don't even Psychology. Federal, a feral child. What the f- yeah, she's yes. still alive. Yeah, she was born in 1957. She's, 60 she's 62. I mean, I think I think it was f- a failure because I don't think they no, were able to change. teach her. She it's because what what went down was she was making a lot of progress in like the hospital, and then they're like, "All right, let's like let her go to a family." No, 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 it didn't go like that. There was like a Liam Pace with it too. Yeah, yeah, there was a whole fight because yeah. the parents, the mom, the, the dad was in jail. I'm pretty sure. So was it the dad that did this stuff? I'm pretty sure. I he was like the main person. Like yeah. The and mom was complicit. Man, but. that mom's sketchy though. I think the guy. No, I think the guy was beating her. It's really hard. Down. It's. Whoa. Fell apart. Man. It's really hard to plead ignorance. <laughs> I'm just a mess today, guys. It's really hard to plead ignorance or just not involvement when you're living in the household. Yeah. Yeah. Like you can't just say, "Oh, my husband was beating this child," because then you're. You could have done something about it. You could have yeah. been like, "Stop," or just call the police. Like, why? If if she wasn't involved, why didn't she do something? Why did it take eleven to twelve years? Who? Wait, what? Finally, I don't know. Out? Was there like a neighbor who knows? Yeah, something? I'm oh. pretty sure it was the neighbor. Yeah, and then the cops That's raided up. the house. Man, shame on that. I don't want to spew. Opinions. Imagine being the neighbor for that. Yo, long. yeah, because yeah, then you then you gotta like think. Oh, back. I remember now. Cause think back and. She, the lady was pregnant for a little bit, obviously. And she was like, where'd your baby go? Oh, that makes sense. Oh. The neighbor was. 
and she was at the I'm pretty sure yeah. she's like, I had a miscarriage. Imagine your neighbor being pregnant. And then, and then never seeing, seeing her child. kid. Although I you could have just sad. played it off as like stillborn or uh, okay. miscarriage. But you can't play it as stillborn once it's three years later. <laughs> True. The, if I were her, if I was in her situation, I'd be like, oh, miscarriage. It's done there. Don't have to worry about it anymore. She should have. I mean, she probably did. She probably did. And then it just... Slipped. I'm pretty sure they were getting skeptical. Though. If, it, if it were me, yeah. I'd probably get a little skeptical. I'd probably re- recognize it. Because then you would have heard about it. Because that stuff is public. You can just you can go back into records. Just Because everything is recorded as a death. If you have a miscarriage, it's recorded as a death. Well, they had the kid in their house. Well, no, see, that's that's what I'm saying. But, like, if you're a neighbor and and you're like, well, she said there was a miscarriage, but I don't remember hearing about the death. So That's true. Sketchy. Exactly. So then they could have gotten suspicious and then been like, yo. I think they let her outside a couple of times. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I mean, thank goodness she got Outside, or they got caught, yeah. but that it it. I don't know why you do that. Yeah, but uh, then I'm pretty sure she got back with her mother, and then that wasn't going good at all. Cause when you're that old, she, not the, not in the girl's case, the mom. Yeah. So like, it's hard to have a kid like that. Cause you know, talk. Oh yeah. Speak. Yeah, cause then so she would just be doing like, mistake, they make making mistakes and whatever. And then the mom would freak out. I think she like hit her or something like that. Wow. And that put all the progress as it was building up. Yeah, because now you're back to the back to state. square one. Now and I'm pretty sure she didn't talk for a while either. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. That sucks. And the other crazy psych thing that I learned, the Andrea Yates case. <gasps> ah. Yep. Uh, what a. That's. F- what. That's. F- what a jerk. Not even jerk, dude. He's like, you're fucked up. Well, you're, I you're I would say that, but, you know. Nuts. That's just so screwed up. You kill your kids. And then she tries arguing it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Wait, so hold on. Did she argue that she didn't kill them or that she, she was in a psychotic that she state? Was, like, okay. wasn't she arguing that like, she She didn't know Satan? what to say at first. And then they were like, she was in a psychotic. Like, I couldn't be that. I could not imagine being Andrea Yates. I lawyer. think she did have. She, she claimed had that she was being, like, told by, like, the devil yeah. to drown she, her kids. Her husband was making her watch, like, demonic videos or whatever. That's, that's a hard But then, uh, idea. imagine having to be her lawyer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my, my, uh. Like, uh, imagine my, trying to defend, like, her case. Man, imagine being a lawyer in general assigned to murder trials. Like, I wouldn't mind doing that. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being a lawyer, but a lawyer for that case. Oh yeah, just a lawyer in general for killings. Yeah, you got to like defend your your. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah, that's what you mean. You got to yeah, defend someone for. Uh, yeah, my guy didn't kill anybody. Or you have to say, oh, my guy was just in a psychotic state. And sometimes they know what happened. Yeah. And they just got to pretend like they don't know. Because then that screws up the case. Man, that's weird. Do you get paid if you lose the case? You yeah, if you're a lawyer, you still have to be paid. Say all right. Say you're in the wrong, right? This guy, yeah. person A kills person B. Yeah, and person A somehow wins the court case. Does the lawyer get more money for that? No, I don't think so. Maybe may, maybe the company. If because what would want to morally drive them? I to think actually want to defend poorly. I think if the lawyer is a part of a company, they'll be paid more by the company. Yeah, then because then the government. that because then they have. Oh look, we have a hundred percent success rate. Because that'll, uh, that'll drive the lawyers to be more successful, which increases their yeah their face mm-hmm. True. in the market. But if if they're an independent, I don't think they're paid more, at least by the person who's hiring them. Mm-hmm. If you're hired, if you're a lawyer, well, you're by law, by you get you get to have a lawyer. Yeah. Oh, true. I wonder how that works. I don't know either. Huh. They're like lawyers. Like when you're getting arrested and, and your hands behind your back and whatever, they're like blah blah blah. You will have a lawyer, so you get one. Yeah. That's a that's probably a crappy. Choice. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. a state assigned lawyer. So they're paid by the state. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Lit. State assigned lawyers are paid by the state. Yeah. If you're in a case where someone hits your car. Yeah. 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 Then you're like, I'm gonna get my best friend Jimmy to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> lawyer up. <laughs> so we got there from, what was it? Ancient mythology. Yeah. yeah how did how we, did get, we there? get there? Greek oh, gods. Damn. How did we, how get, did we there? get there? I can't remember. Um, Jesus. Oh, we talked about 
um, making a language. Like, they're like, I wonder how they spoke back then. Oh, yeah. And then we talked right. about psych, and then we got into the whole genie thing, and then. I mean, it was a good flow. It was a good how flow. did the language get into the... Well, we were talking about she couldn't hieroglyphics. Uh, oh, yeah. I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you they probably grunted. Genie can speak. And you're like, <laughs> genie. Genie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had the, the moment. <laughs> you guys both point each other at the exact same time. I hope that got it if it didn't die. <laughs> 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 Your face. I want to. See. When I'm wa- when I'm watching that back, I want to see your face because I didn't see your face. You were probably like, <gasps> yeah. I was, I was just kind of like chilling, and you guys went like that. And it took me a minute. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on. You guys just did that at the same time. <laughs> so hopefully that covers uh, mythology yeah, or crazy. astronomy or both. Or both. Maybe. Hmm. But then religion. Religion. Do you want? I mean, do you want to discuss that? Let's do it. Uh, we can discuss uh, anything. Well, I don't know what the hell we're gonna to talk you. about. I don't care. We can talk about whatever. I'm here for a good time. You want to start it off? Want to kick this off? What Let's do you want to do? It. I don't believe in God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the listeners out there, you won't know what happened. But if you're watching this on YouTube, I think I think I know what happened. Did you guys have a discussion with Trevor about it? Um, Vaguely, I think. We did, but we also had episode five. Um, we that was just, our dedicated I think I, I think I to it. religion I discussion. Think I, did. I was like, yeah. I don't believe in God. Cassie was like, but you don't have any evidence that it doesn't exist. No, that was I you. That was it. you. No. You're like, oh my gosh, there's no evidence that God exists. And I was like, how yeah, can man. you prove it? If, if, that you expe- was you. if you expect me to believe something exists, you better have some evidence saying that it exists. You know, it is. Because that's a whole life A little bit of thing. evidence. The, co- the Scopes trial. What? The... I forget what I've it is. Heard of it. it was pretty much one guy, William Downing's Downing Bryan. You know what I'm talking Ring about? Ring a bell. Ring a bell. Yeah. Really? He is was it about like, schools? I bring. Him, I believe uh, in God. And he, oh, yeah, okay. I remember. I had like an entire essay over this. Was he just trying to make pretty much public schools teach Tennessee really religious? Yeah. And the I forget what it's called WPA or something like that was like, hey. This guy's gonna retire soon. They're like, hey guy, you wanna do me a favor <laughs> and uh, teach these kids about uh, evolution? And that was illegal oh, at the time. Yeah, that was illegal. So it was like the the Brown Act or something like that. Or I uh, Brown sounds familiar. The Brown Act, I think. Like, don't quote me on that. But he broke that, and uh, they were like, he broke it. And he was like, you told me to. He's like, you broke it. <laughs> and then they got put into that. And I'm pretty trial. sure William Jennings Bryan was the good guy. I so think. basically, they were trying to push evolution to be taught in public schools, but it was so religious. Or was it the other way around? It's so religious. So like they when this guy when this guy was going to retire, oh yeah, they were taught the uh, the evolution. I see. The kids went home, and the mom was like, "You're going to school They're like evolution." They were like, "What?" Because <laughs> they were like, "God's real." God's everything. They're like, God's everything, Mom. <laughs> so when they came home, they're like, God ain't real. You lied to me. Evolution. We, oh, grew, we grew up from apes and primates. <laughs> they were like, Don't die here. <laughs> <laughs> Just pulls and out then a shotgun. They, they, they got mad. They shotgun. went to the school and whatever. Yeah, went so to they, court. Got put in, they got put into a trial. I see. I it see was that really, that really point. popular. Hmm. They attracted the entire town. And uh, pretty sure William James Bryant was a good guy. So he was uh, defending ju- the guy who got in trouble for teaching. Okay. So, and the other guy was like, God. God's great. God's good. <laughs> and um, pretty much you can't lie in court. You swear not to. Yeah. And you can't really defend religion because you're not sure if it's true. Uh-huh. So when William James Bryan had his saying, and he was like, all right, other guy talk. Talk for religion because that's what you believe in. And the, the court... Justice guy was like, you can't talk about that. You can't do that. And he was like, but why is that? He's like, can you prove to me that Jesus is, like, real? And he was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. he was like, you're the winner. <laughs> and then they, he, the other guy still got put in jail because he broke the law. But he got a lesser time, I think. You got to think huh. a little bit about like years banged off. But that just goes to prove that uh, religion.
it means it's good. Well, I don't think it proves it. I don't think it proves it. But I think it shows that that's kind of where it starts. Law, well, it's for me, real. we talk about this in depth in episode five. Uh, I'm not going to plug it because you already know where to find it. Um, Ooh. Episode <laughs> five, go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> he plugs it for you. Um, my thing is, well, it's a couple things. Um, you can't prove to me that God exists. That's not the only thing. Um, the Bible claims that the earth is only 6,000 years old, and it was created by an immortal um, that we can't see, that we can't experience. Um, so... Is that what the Bible says? I, I honestly... It explicitly says that the earth is 6,000 years old. Where does it say old. that? Uh, it's somewhere. <laughs> I couldn't find it, man. Well, say um, he did find it. Say it did say that. It How does say that. that. No, I believe in evolution. I think See, but that's where, uh, that's the thing. Uh, we have to start nitpicking I mean, what is Jesus true. I mean, if Jesus were to come down, break the atmosphere, and be like, yo, what's up, guys? <laughs> I'd be like, I believe in God now. <laughs> yeah, if there was some hard evidence for God, I'd be like, yeah. But there but has to be evidence. then that breaks the believing. And that breaks the belief. But then it becomes a fact. And then it becomes a fact. And you can't believe in fact because it's true. Yes. I think that's the whole thing Which behind is why religion. Me. I just took over that one. Yeah, it's fine. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't, I mean, this kind of feels like an attack towards Cass. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, you're kind of losing in the situation. Because you've, you've already lost. Words. You've already oh, lost. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you've already lost. <laughs> I was just All right. Telling. Um, but she's outnumbered, so I'm not going to get into it. But basically, um, some of the Bi- Bible's just nitpicking, man. You just choose what you want to believe and choose what you don't. Or choose what makes sense. I will and say when this more for religion, there are some pretty bad stories in there. Oh, yeah. There no, are I some think pretty sweet stories There are some there. pretty awesome stories in there. But I think it's just that. I think it's just a story. It's good. It's uh, David and Goliath. Yeah, that's a classic. That's a classic. <laughs> 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 Who's the dude go- that got eaten by the whale? What? <laughs> he lived inside a whole bunch of a whale. Of people, do you know when you like go on Instagram, and you're like, "Oh, who's this?" And it says like Corinthians 1920. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, it's just like what the hell does that? Mean? I know, I know what it is. <laughs> yeah. What is Corinthians? <laughs> <laughs> As I see that on way too many people's Instagram. Bios. Well, yeah, it's just uh, you can get a lot of good quotes from the Bible. I know. Well, it's pretty solid stuff. Something they go by life with. I think the Bible is a good story. Oh, facts. Best but book there is. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Bible's the best. I mean, I don't think it's true, but it's the best. <laughs> it's, it's the best book ever. <laughs> uh, who wrote it? Jesus. <laughs> 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 what a man. <laughs> what a man. Um, Dies on the cross writing it. <laughs> I probably should have said that. I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> it's a joke. Take a joke. I probably shouldn't have said that. No, probably, a lot of people are probably going to get it. Nah, angry. you're fine. You're fine. Sorry. I'll back you up. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's religion. I don't know if you want to delve into it. I mean, not much to it. All right. There is something. I read something on Instagram, which is Instagram, and I'm not sure if it's true. Probably not. But it said in the Bible that they think the earth is like a, what's that kind of yoga ball that's flat? <laughs> <and> <laughs> It's flat, and then it has like the round part. A me- oh, oh, yeah, it's like ball. it's like, and it has like it's like a dome yes. thing. Yes, yeah. they believe ball? that the Earth is like a dome. Does it say that? Yeah, when when you take the know. Bible word for word, um, the Earth is flat. Slaves are cool. Um, <laughs> like sli- they, like the Bible advocates for slavery. Um, they say, it "Yo, advocate you can for gays." That's for sure. Oh yeah, it goes it against homosexuality. Gays. Yeah, it doesn't um, explicitly say that, though, it which uh, bothers me. No, it doesn't. Yeah, um, people interpret it that way. Hold on. Um, let me think of the verse. Hold on. It's, oh, he's pulling it's up on Adam, verse. It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Or something <laughs> like that. Verbatim <laughs> yeah. from the Bible, yes. It's something like that. <laughs> it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. It's something like that. That's a, that's a great quote. It's Steve and Eve, and I don't, I don't know. I, don't <laughs> I know. think that's an inaccurate quote. I think Adam's fine. Eve, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> I have a lot of bleeping to do. Oh, do you bleep these? No, sir. Oh, uh, I love hearing bleeps. They make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bleep. It's just silence. It's a mute. Oh, it's not muted, is it? You gotta bleep it. Oh. <laughs> Bleeping it is so much more funny. I'm telling you. 
I'll look into it. Oh, you gotta. <laughs> Just for this episode. Just for this episode. <laughs> Just to make him happy. Uh, <laughs> that would, oh my God. I would pee my pants listening to this. I'll try not to swear for the rest of this. No, time. you can. You I'm can. gonna try and. Should I give that up for Lent? Swearing. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. So you're not. So you're not religious, but. No, that activity sounds like fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> the activity of Lent. <laughs> Like, I know a bunch of people who don't believe in God. They say, like, hey, let's give something up because it sounds like fun. Because <laughs> it sounds like fun. <laughs> don't they do, like, the little black cross? Yeah. yeah, no, that's that's actually, yeah. I remember last year, I was walking around, I think, oh, like, a God. mall or something. And I was just, like, eating my ice cream from Cold Stone. I looked to my right, and it's just guy, this old man with a black, I think it was man, black, or black or white. That weirds me out. And I, was, I, don't, and I freaked out because I had no idea what was going on. Oh, gosh, yeah. I was like, yeah, why does everybody doing this? <laughs> it's a Satan thing. That's what I thought. I was like, <laughs> what is going Satan's on? Satan's here. <laughs> I was actually freaking out, and I was like, Mom, what the f*** is happening? <laughs> I was like, why are these people trying shit See, on their here's foreheads? The thing. See, here's the thing. I'm going to try to be very careful in my wording here. I, now I understand what it is. It's just people drawing a cross. Yeah. That weirds me out a little bit. People just putting ashes on their forehead. Is it ashes? It's ashes. They oh, burn like twigs. Leaves. Why Not would they do people. that? Not from people. They don't put that people. <laughs> it's just weird. That's that's initially what I thought it's, when he said ashes. I, I was like, I wanted to clarify because I knew how it could whoa. be like interpreted. It's like from the palms. I thought it was like paint. Like paint just no. not ashes. Why? <laughs> They're polluting the air. They're polluting the air. <laughs> yeah, true. Greenhouse, global warming. The church. Thanks, Bible. Thanks a lot. You're going to be the reason why this world ends. Yep. They're, yep. It's just because they burned some leaves one day. <laughs> you hadn't burned those leaves, guys. Technically, if you're vegetarian, you can't kill like plants because they are living. I thought about that before. Like, you're just up at 2 a.m., you're, like, on your phone scrolling, and you want to ask, like, stuff to answer and to see. Well, see, here's the thing. You start thinking, you're like... That might apply for vegans, but for, for vegetarians, vegans. it just means that you don't eat meat. Oh, is that all? <laughs> yeah. Cause my, you know Kyle Mann? A who? Kyle Mann. Uh, the name sounds familiar. He's a vegan. Or veg- I think he's a vegan. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know who yeah. he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the very, only, very, very vegan. Very feminine <laughs> like. Can I say feminine like? I think so. He, he is gay. Oh, okay. He's okay. gay. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, it's not a, sorry, that's not a, that's not a generalization. I just assumed. Well, he didn't know. And he I assumed. So, good assumption. Good assumption. Good assumption. See, we can make friends here. We can be. We can send a happy message. Yeah, Kyle's cool. He's one of my good friends. Yeah, he's cool, dude. He cool was in dude. my study when he was a freshman. He lost a lot of weight being vegan, though. Oh yeah, a lot. Oh yeah. I Sorry, Kyle. I don't mean to call you fat or Ooh. nothing, but uh, That's a good eighth thing. grade he was a lot. If and someone, then, if someone says, "Hey, man, you lost a lot. You look good, man. You lost a lot of weight." That's what I said. Freshman That's a compliment. Year, I was like, "That's a compliment." Damn, Kyle. Vegan oh, training, but then, right? But we got to be careful, man, because now we're start we're starting to get into like that fat shaming thing. The fat shaming. Oh, people, people like body positivity. Woo. Um, I have a very strong opinion about that. It's a very polarized opinion. I'm not going to share it here unless I'm not going to share it. <laughs> <laughs> mute. <laughs> <laughs> Just mute it. Um, you can't hear me anymore. <laughs> What was that? Definitely not the case. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's what Ash Wednesday is. That's what vegetarianism is. I don't know. It's it's important to have a, a very balanced diet. You need meat in your diet. You do. You I mean, you can get protein from plants. Obviously, I forget what you can get it from though. Um, get it from like. All right, soy. big question. Fish. Can you eat fish as a? Vegan it's a meat. Or a fish is a meat. Thank you. But but some people don't think for it is, some reason for some reason so in Lent you're not supposed to eat meat on Fridays but you can eat fish. I don't know why that is. Fish I'm, is I'm a totally, meat. I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> yeah. So you can't eat meat on Fridays. You can eat some cod though. That's fine with me. Or some, some salmon. Or fish is a meat, guys. It's a meat. Fish is good too. Fish is really. Good. I hate fish. Sorry. I like I, my favorite fish is haddock. Haddock's really good. See, I draw my judgments on seafood. Just solely from having eaten tuna. Tuna's not good. 
tuna's good for you. Tuna. Oh, okay. So all right. Tuna. So maybe I should try some seafood because I hate tuna. I just I just assume oh, really all seafood's the same. Tuna is loaded with protein. Yeah. Very low calorie. Very Gross low though. in fats. Very low in carbs. It's just a protein punch. It's pretty much just a protein punch. I mean, it's pretty good. I've eaten it a little bit. You know, you, you know where else you can get a protein pu- punch from? <laughs> protein. A nice big juicy steak. Not what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> I did not wor- know where you were going. Or with a that protein. Yeah, shape. I know. I, he was like nice, <laughs> juicy. I was like, please <laughs> don't say it. Please don't say it. I wouldn't say it. <laughs> and you're like steak. And I was like, oh, thank <laughs> God. <laughs> Dodged the bullet. <laughs> bullet there. <laughs> um, a nice solid juice. Oh, don't do it. <laughs> I thought that's what we were. Don't going. clip that, please. Um, just don't. It's not good. It's not good for you. It's not healthy. Don't you don't clip it. <coughs> I don't want people to clip that and then. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. And then just insert me saying something else. <laughs> I don't think I've said. That'd be funny. I don't think I've said the word in any other context. The word. You know, the I'm word. Saying. Yeah, the word. The P word. The, yeah, the, word. <laughs> the P word. The P word. What is the word? scientific term? Wait. Genitals? Uh, well, the scientific term for it is penis. Oh, shoot! I just gave them content. Crap! Um, don't clip this that. Going in a direction don't, I didn't don't. expect, so. Sorry, I shouldn't have. Sorry. My pre-med instincts kicked in there. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> just like, I put I'm you into that weird. trap so bad. I'm just kidding. You knew that was coming. Crap! I should have known. I, I knew it was coming. Uh, I, was, I was just waiting. I was like, hey, hold on. What's that medical like, term? Yeah, I like, wonder. Huh, it's actually peen. Uh, awesome, Ryan. Thanks. I hate life. Does it feel different? This is my first time here. Does it feel different with the cameras? Anything you're doing different? Not really. I talk. I Well, now I have somewhere to talk to. Usually, well, our setup was different before. The table was slightly longer, and we sat on kind of diagonal. So I sat right here, and she sat right there. And we would talk to each other, but when we were recording them for our trailer, we would have cameras um, on that post and this post. So I would look off into the distance, and the camera would have to be So were there always there. cameras? No, only for like the first three or four episodes, and then after that, it was just recording. But I usually talked off in the distance. So now when I'm talking off in the distance, I can just look at the camera. True. It doesn't feel different. I just know they can see me, but I don't really care that they can see me. I mean, I don't know if that's the same for you. Yeah, I just, I forget they're there. Yeah. Well, I'm, looking that right, I'm looking right at them, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel bad now about it. Hi. Sorry, we're looking at Maybe you. it's not rolling. Uh-oh. We should check. <laughs> I was oh, thinking about back. that. I'm like, if that's not recording, you well, probably get have a pissy fit. Oh, we're good. How much space is on that? 64? Yeah. Four gigs. It's beefy. I think I have 16 on my phone. Oh. What phone do you have? A 7. I don't think they sold 16 gigs with the 7. They sold it with the 6S. I think the the lowest base was... I think it's a 32. 32. I take that back. Yeah, it's definitely 32. 16 is nothing. No, it's so low. Compared to what they have now, terabytes. Yeah. You can get a full terabyte on a computer. It's I mean, wild. you can do that before you the get entire like Xbox terabyte. One's a terabyte. I think that's point one point one. I think Macs are really slow to the game. Yeah, thirty two gigs. Just been talking about the store. Um, yeah, that's, that's mm. a fun time. Mm. Did we cover religion okay? Does that <laughs> yeah, good? I think we did good with it. All right, good. So we covered that. Now, now what, are we, what are we? I mean, we're in a whole hour and 23 minutes into this. Huh. It's crazy that Matt Bianco was here for another three. <laughs> yeah. That's Shout nuts. out to Matt Bianco. You already know where to find him. <laughs> Don't talk episode 12. That's right. Tell him. Episode 12. Go <laughs> check it out. <laughs> <laughs> He's our spokesperson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, we we mm. Mm. see. I think the reason why we were able to get away with that was because Cassidy wasn't here. What fun fact? Cassidy uh, wasn't here when we were recording. I love she it. was recording in an undisclosed location because she At was being school. chased by the FBI. She's At wanted. She's still wanted. In fact, she is still wanted. 
Toga. She's currently being she's she, I'm not going to tell you how much you can get for for uh turning her in, but you can get a lot of dough. Well, she has like uh, 150,000 on her head. I mean, tell the community. I was just at my school recording. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so that's all. <laughs> I didn't know you wanted <laughs> to be truthful. <laughs> um, yeah, but the reason why we were able to get away with that is because Cassidy couldn't stop us. Yep. She can be like, all right, I'm done. Usually when she's done, she just walks off. <laughs> she's like, all right, peace out, and then just walks away. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, th- thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> By myself again. <laughs> <laughs> like always, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, sorry, Cass. That's I was just relating that to my entire life, <laughs> not just the episode. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. Sorry. Oh, have oh, you had more than one person on the show yet? No. No. Do you plan on it? Um, I've thought about it. I don't think we've talked about it. Okay. We don't have mics, but I have one that attaches right here. That we could, so we could do it for. But then we would have a weird setup. I don't know. We might. It might happen. We don't want to promise anything. Just about good as I do with God. <laughs> Probably not going to happen. That'd be cool, though. We just all sit around a table and just chat. What to talk about. What to talk about. Exactly. What to talk about. Th- there's got to be something to talk about. Yeah. Mm. Cass. I don't know. <laughs> she looked really, <laughs> she looked really uh, upset there. I don't want to be called out, man. Mm. I hate getting called out. Let's talk about how you hate being called out. Oh. Do you hate being called out? Well, just she like in general, like in like a school setting, they're like, Cassie, what are you Oh, yeah, yeah. I hate that so much. Throw back to Miss Walls' uh, oh my God. class junior. Shout out to Miss Walls. I mean, I love her, but like she'd be like, Cassie, you haven't said anything. What do you think? It's like, oh, she does that shit all the time. <laughs> because I don't want to say And if everyone's just like on their phone, she goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she waits. She waits. Until, I mean, that's a typical teacher move. But she well, like waits. Most to teachers would just be like. And then be that one kid's like, yeah, I know. They're <laughs> <laughs> and she's just like, mm-hmm. but she's yeah. weird about it. She just stands there and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just, I'm normally chilling. I'm just like this most of the time, just listening story. to everything. I see everyone talking. I just see her go from, okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, this. I like Miss Walls. Miss Walls is fun. Do you have her English right now? Yeah. So it'd be okay. junior. That's a fun time. I have mm-hmm. American literature, so I kind of hate it, not going to lie. Is there a lady what books did you? I didn't like that year. Did you? No, I hated you, it. Wait, no. you. What? I mean, I liked it less than other years. I'm trying to think of the books we read so far. Oh, we I didn't really pay attention to that. War. I just paid attention to the class that we had and Miss G. <laughs> Miss G. Was Shout fun. out to Miss G. You're we not read Catcher in the Rye. We didn't do a Vietnam thing. We did. Oh, we cast. You're forgetting the best one. Yeah, great Gatsby, yes! Oh, okay, never mind. I take it back. I love that year. <laughs> that was great. You know who reminds me of? Mike Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why. You're just so excited. When you did that, I was like, whoa, yeah. Mike Wazowski. Because you know he's like a little ball and he goes like that. No. <laughs> I don't know. I can eye? see it. Oh, I can see oh, it. Hold no. on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, we're going to pull up with a comparison. I have to. Do I look like a Cyclops, Mike guys? Wall. If yes, you just, then you yes. just have the energy of Mike Wazowski, and that's that's a good thing. There's yeah, that's totally private. What is it? <sighs> Mike Wazowski. I think we'll be fine. Mean? We're recording at 1080p. It's a much smaller resolution. Oh, that's odd. Mike Wazowski. All right. Well, you can kind of see it a little bit. I can't see it. You can't. <laughs> I mean, if you have one eye. <laughs> hey, Ryan. Uh, not not you, Ryan. Ryan Antonetti. He's the one that edits these. Oh, episodes. here we go. Finally. Toss up a picture of Mike Wazowski. If, if you're, I mean, you probably don't listen to this, but toss up a picture of uh, Mike Wazowski right next to me. Right right here. Dude, do this real quick. Go. <laughs> what? Do that. Kind of squint your eyes and look up. Why? <laughs> 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 For a second there, I thought you were gonna pull up like some meme where Mike Wazowski was mad high. No, <laughs> it was just. Edited. I mean, like, to be yeah. honest, if you're looking at Mike I mean, right here, he probably <laughs> is. <laughs> so he looks like he's off of something. It is a meme. <laughs> Mike Wazowski hits the booth. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Should I? 
That's a Joe Rogan reference. Oh. Uh, I've when listened Elon to a couple Musk of hit his uh his blunt. <laughs> yeah. His tobacco leaf wrapped <laughs> marijuana. He hit it and he was like <laughs> And that's where that meme comes from of Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> that was an interesting podcast. I've listened to like ten of his podcasts. Really good. The dude's really smart. Um, yeah, I listen to him all the time. Isn't he kind of conservative, though? A little bit. I mean, not that I care. He makes a lot of money. Oh, yeah. He's, He's probably like, the biggest podcast out there. One of them. Well, he gets paid around, like, I think it's a hundred and some. I think it's a hundred. No. Like, 20. I forget. It's in the thousands how much he gets paid for each podcast. Right Jeez. From YouTube. Because he puts advertisements on. Oh, well, that makes sense. Hold on. And then he's like the end. Do you know when you're like watching a UFC with Conor McGregor and you hear the guy in the back like, wow, what a punch. That's Joe Rogan. That's Joe. So he gets paid to do that. He is a podcast dude. He gets all these people to come on. His life is great. He's meeting a bunch of people. They're coming to him. Mm -hmm. He's getting money while doing it. And then he gets to watch people beat beat each other up. (laughs) It's a part of life. life. Like, imagine how much. For each episode, Rogan receives an alleged 75000 75, Holy crap. Cass, and we should... We should <laughs> and you make $75,000 on a podcast per episode. You sit there for an hour and a half and you make, oh, yeah, I just made $75,000? Yeah. What? Are you crazy? Doesn't the dude make daily podcasts? Or is it weekly? Daily. Oh, my God. And sometimes more in one, like, two in one day. Holy crap. He has like over a thousand videos. And then that's not even talking about advertising money. That, well, that's where you get the money from. Is is he, from oh, the okay. I thought I thought he you, was a part of a company that was just paying him to make content. I don't think he's in a company. Okay. I'm not sure. I think he owns his own company. That's stupid. Yeah. And then he's the announcer of UFC. That's right. The guy's like, oh, my God, punch Michael Jones, blah, blah, blah. That's Connor so Rogan, stupid. Blah, blah, blah. Mad respect for the guy. That's a lot of money. You gotta think about this though. Which People one? come to him like Mike Tyson. True. And like he's a lot of celebrities Hill. on there. They all come to him, and he gets to talk with these people, get smarter, get paid for it, wow, without moving. That's so crazy. It's it is just like you don't. He just sits there. You sit there and talk. Yeah, Cass, we could make a living off this. <laughs> no, we couldn't. <laughs> Twelve uh-huh. years later. We've made 18 cents off of this. 18 cents? <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on, wait. We just started advertising in our episodes. Have you? Um, I think so. It, it's per play. Is it per play? Whoa! We've had a lot of plays since I last checked. We've made 29 cents. <laughs> Whoa. And guess what? Anchor only ta- only charges you 25 cents per transaction. So if we were to with to... To withdraw all this money, we would make four cents. We're making money, Cass. <laughs> Hold on. So say like it is someone else putting a podcast up here. Yeah. It's still twenty five cents for them to, or is it more? Well, so what happens is, um, these so you can monetize your episodes, and what that happens, what ha- what happens is, advertisers, if they're interested in your content can say, yo, I want you to sp- to make a sponsor for me. So we record like a 30-second to a minute uh, segment. I think the way YouTube does it is that like we YouTube has a set like a- of like advertisements to put on videos. I don't yeah. know if it's like So the way YouTube works is you have to have a, a minimum, I think it's 4,000 views per year in order to get to even qualify for advertising. Really? And then if you choose to have advertisers on your content, um, you can choose where they're placed, but I think there's a maximum of when they're placed, and you make a certain amount of cash. Based and how on long it is too, because I've seen yeah, multiple throughout the and video. if they're skippable, so usually you'll be paid more if they're not skippable. Yeah, because I was on YouTube earlier, and it's per play. I just kept putting on for background noise. Yeah, and the video ended. Whoever was watching, I think it's my little brother watches Fortnite, and the end of it just kept going. So I thought it was a video, and I looked up. I was like, why is this such a long? Oh ad? yeah. There's some pretty long. I wonder maybe then There's is like it three minute ads about working out? It must out. be made 
you must make money based on how much of the po- of the uh, of the advertisement is played. Well, it was at the dead end, so obviously someone's gonna click off that video. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'm I thought sure. it was just per play, but maybe it's based on how much time is played. Maybe it's like one cent per second or something. Then no, five cents. I don't know. That'd be cool. Um, what was I saying? Oh, we get we have a sponsor. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> we have a sponsor, and we just started rolling them out, which is good. Guess our sponsor already. Yeah. Who? Um, shout out to Flipboard. Um, in fact. Wait, what? So what happens is we have to put in a segment of a sponsor. I'm aware. Um, somewhere in our episode, and I'm gonna put it right there. Sounds good to me. Yeah. We can talk about it. Or no, 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 no. No, it's pre-recorded. Oh. Uh, so I'll just <laughs> into there. So I just I led see, into it. So you kind of just see. yeah. Damn, I really just set you up. <laughs> you did. <laughs> On accident. <laughs> I was like, uh, who's he sponsored by? <laughs> and then that's like, like, well. Uh, if you guys want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could. We could. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. That was good. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do it. That was a good setup. No, I. Not props to you. Or did I? Or do I know you're sponsored personally? Hold on, I'll, I'll Am I making half your profit? 20 bucks and if you <laughs> shut up. Two cents. Uh, two cents if you <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> we'll give you half of our salary if you shut your mouth. Shake it. Shake it. So in 12 years when you're making oh $500,000, $250,000 of that money is going Go to moi. You just shook on I that. just made a regrettable decision. <laughs> <laughs> and it's on video. It's on video. It's there, on there, there. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, uh, boy. Oof. <laughs> that yikes. could go Big one of two ways. Yeah. I mean. Oh, boy. That's, uh, I might just regret that. Imagine yeah. that, though. You do turn into a podcast person. People. We should do that. Just, Big just drop out of school. Just do this full time. Harvard dropout. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I guess I'm going to Harvard. You know. Where are you going to school? MCPHS. PHS. <laughs> That's what everyone <laughs> does. Oh, you're just going to PHS, but like MC? medical. <laughs> MC. Yeah. It stands for Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. Whoa. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Well, where are you going to college? Emmanuel in Boston. Oh, man, okay. So we're I like know where that one is. We're yeah. So I'm so imagine that, but like a two minute walk. That's where my school is. It's right across from Children's Hospital. Oh yeah, I've been there before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> plenty of times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hemorrhaged when I was four. Whoa! Oh, no. Yeah. Wait, like full on hemorrhage? Yeah, so I, I threw up like half my blood supply. Four years old, so I was maybe thirty pounds. Oh my god! Lips were going purple. Jeez! Fingers starting to turn bright white. Well, see what happens there is um, when you start losing a lot of blood, your body uh, relocates that blood to the center of your body, like the stuff that matters. So what happens is the blood vessels in like your arms or your hands constrict, which restricts blood flow, and the blood is circulated basically in the center so like it's goes to your heart goes to your lungs your stomach you know the organs pancreas. you need to like live <laughs> <in>. <laughs> like the stuff that keeps you alive your brain obviously but like they don't so what the reason why his lips turn blue or his hands turned white is because blood wasn't going there on purpose his body made that decision and his body was like because if you it didn't your fingers today if it didn't it, he'd probably die yeah i had like a i think it was 65 percent chance of living whoa wow was bad man it putting a percent on life is weird it isn't it it is kind of like but, but it's it's man you have a 95 percent chance of dying it's a fuck even chance, saying though. even saying five percent chance of dying there's that's still that still, chance that's yeah. that gives me the oh. see people look at it differently if they're like oh you have a five percent chance of winning this lottery for a million dollars like well that's 95 chances that i'm not gonna but then you look at it with your life, and you're like, 5% chance Well, it's what die. the stakes are. Exactly. It's 5% chance you could die, you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> Death? Whoa. I could die here. 
Yeah. I'm not going to, but. You never. That's why the five percent's a thing. But that's maybe why it made, scares me. You're part. You could be part of that five percent. People are like, you have a six percent chance of living when you have pancreatic cancer, stage four. That's scary. Jesus. <laughs> I don't. I, I just made up those stats. <laughs> that's just what we, I thought you were talking well, actually, no. Yeah, I me think, too. I thought actually, that was no, real. I think, <laughs> Damn. I think it is. I think it's like eight percent because Alex, what's his face, Jeopardy guy. Jeopardy guy. <laughs> Alex, uh, last name escapes me, but the host on Jeopardy. Just came out and said, yo, guys, I got stage four pancreatic cancer. I have a very small chance of living. Jesus. Jesus. That went really dark. Man, yeah. Alex is fucking good. Shout out to you, Alex. We love you. Uh, they don't know who you are. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but I love you. Sorry, you have I, I stage four pancreatic cancer. Yeah. That's a shame. That's really sad. That's, a, that's not good. But yeah, I mean, it's really sad. It's kind of disappointing injuries besides your nose my injuries um besides my infamous nose i had a more infamous um injury my neck oh did you forget about that man i was like what what could he be talking about i think the neck brace is up here somewhere from soccer some from soccer is that why you don't play soccer anymore not really you ref you ref my game i ref i ref your game once i'm done with soccer <laughs> you don't <Beep>. like it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't like I it? I don't like soccer anymore. Oh. It was awful. So you just really. went like, you just lost all will to play. Yeah. You were just kind of like trolling. Halfway through the season, I was like, I'm just going to have to do it <laughs> Like, I was like, coach, peace out. I, I, like, it was the middle of a practice. And we were just kicking the ball around. Oops. And someone landed on my knee. And, like, I did something to it. And I was like, peace out. He's like, oh, are you hurt? I'm like, no. I'm not doing this anymore. Really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. I like I beginning. My mom was like, "Excited for soccer?" I was like, Mm-mm, "Not looking forward to it." Like some people would say, maybe they're tired or they're burnt out. But I was like, "I don't want to do this." And she was like, "You're doing it." And I was like, "All right, I can't be that bad. <laughs> can't be awful." I mean, I've done this for a month. You were, you were good though, right? I like hitting people. <laughs> I yeah. Could tell. Yeah, that's how I that's how I enjoyed it was physical contact. I remember yeah. my last game, I literally put it into our end, so someone started like running after it, mm-hmm. just so I could hit them, because the kid is already like talking a whole bunch of smack. Oh, so I was like, oh, what I thought better, you just, I thought you just like leveled poor Timmy, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> just because you felt like no. it. No, he was already talking a whole bunch of a smack. I hate and people the, like that. Yeah, me too. And like. A kid on their team, Women Hanson, I knew who he was because oh, I wrestled goodness. with him before. Yeah. Oh, that's and I was awesome. like, I'm at Miles. He's like, what's up, man? And we're like, we're dabbing off, whatever. And we're playing. <laughs> dabbing off. And this kid starts talking. And Miles is like, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Because he knows. He <laughs> knows I'm going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> he knows I will he like. He said that was such a straight face. He knows I'm going to kill him. <laughs> 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 he knows I will murder him. I will, yes. <laughs> and he was like, don't do it, man. He will hurt you. He was like, this kid's a big P. This kid's a little P. And I was like, I'm going to give you one more chance, dude. One more. And if you break it, that's your choice. <laughs> and now was my, like, Miles just egging me on. He, was, he started egging me on. He's like, what are you going to do, midget? You got a man bone. Oh, no. I was like, all right. I mean, you do this to yourself. Well, so see, that's actually- they started off. Start off with the ball. I no, we start off with the ball. And I kicked it to their side so they have it. <laughs> and uh that's where they have it. They start running after the kid. Uh-huh. So I said so I pass it to this kid. And the kid I wanted to hit is over here. <laughs> okay. And I knew they were gonna start running. So I kicks it over. I just immediately come back. And uh-huh. I'm just like, this kid's all done. <laughs> so the ball's in the air. I'm like, this couldn't be any more perfect. I'm running right underneath the ball, <laughs> kids looking up. He touches the ball, he starts to run, <laughs> smack, yellow card, I'm on the bench. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, I, like, you punch know, him? I, I, well, but he was trying to jump up and chest the ball, so I took, I lay, put my head down, and I took out his knees, and he did, like, a flip. Oh, God. Oh, my so God. And was like, that, That's a red, <laughs> by the way. Over. That, that like, should not have been a yellow, that's a red that card. That's totally a red. That's a red card. The ref knew I did not care. <laughs> and the ref was like, 
should have done that. Yellow card. And I was like, woohoo, I get to go sit. I was like, I just hit someone. My adrenaline's up. I'm feeling good. I can go sit now. And the kid, I think he like dislocated his knee. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then Miles, like a week after, he's, he, the kid's like, I'm going to throw a in your dick. <laughs> Miles, like, I, I hate to say it. But like I told, I told you, you so. I told you so. <laughs> it was it was funny. It was funny. Twin talk about storm. Um. So when? Okay. No, it's not. <laughs> it's no, it's not. <laughs> and I was like, hold on, let me just go. <laughs> <laughs> um. So that's actually similar to how I fractured my neck. <laughs> Well, how could you piss someone off? <laughs> so no, no, I didn't piss anyone okay, off. Okay, then it's I was not similar. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened was. I got the ball. I'm running down the sideline. Dribb- wow, I can speak. I'm running down the sideline. I'm dribbling. Just minding my own business. Doing I'm looking for mm-hmm. a pass across the other side of the field. We're trying to... It's a it's a playoff game, so the stakes are high. This giant dude, he's like six foot. Yeah, that's what I hate, that's what I hate about being our size. He's built. <laughs> we're tiny, and they're up here. <laughs> exactly. We're like, damn, these people Don't take are that. Do, do not take that out of context, please. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm looking for a pass. I'm looking to pass it. And then this dude comes bearing. I don't see him. He comes out of my peripheral vision. So I kind of see him, but I don't you register don't worry it. About it. You don't worry yeah, about I, it. I'm just kind of. Like just the ball's it. coming before he hits me. I'm not I'm thinking of him just driving me. So he comes over. He's sprinting. He decks me. But he, since he's six foot, his shoulder goes into my neck. I flip and I land on the ground. I fracture my neck. I was in a brace for like a month and a half. If it was a break, I'd be in big trouble. <laughs> yeah, you'd probably be paralyzed on one side of your body. Probably. My dad but I'm had fine now. On his neck. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, he was when it first. Oh, oh, crow. There <laughs> we <okay>. go. <laughs> <laughs> it's ch- oh, they're making adjustments. Ooh. Adjustments. I like. I know it. it's fancy. I like it. I like it. I'll hold it like on Trump. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That would be. <laughs> That would not be okay. Anyway, I mean, you can if you want. Are you not? <laughs> what? Oh my god! He really just. Did. I did not know that could that could happen. He really just did that. It's kind of taped down, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. <laughs> well, it's untaped now. Yeah. <laughs> can it, can okay. It? Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> Well, you really just did that. <laughs> I was not. A, you were like, <laughs> 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 click, and now it's out. Hello. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to ASMR. Uh, it's ASMR. Uh, we're back. <laughs> said that at the same time. We're not going to get into this because we did that with Matt Bianco. Go check it out. Like five four. million times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some more break. Woo! Oh, man, this water tastes great. Twin Talk dot store. <laughs> uh, that sounds good. Yeah, it sounds okay, good. but anyways, my dad was lifting a manhole, and uh, he was lifting it. He was pulling. He was pulling, and then the manhole like. When he was trying to pull it, it slipped in, and it's like 235 pounds, right? Mm. So he whiplashed. Oh, oh gross. Like wow, that's dislocates horrible. Dislocates something in his neck, like a disc oh, or something no. like that. Wow. And he doesn't think anything of it. He's like, all right, yeah, I kind of hurt. I'm good. So he go, I think he goes like a month, and then he's like, wow, this really hurts. I need to even get this checked out. And the doctor was like, touch, touch, MRI, look at bones. You have three misplaced discs. Wow. Yeah, oh so he had to get like surgery. Was there they any were like up here too? Was he paralyzed in certain parts of the body? Oh no, he's just fine. All right, lit. And uh, he got surgery for that, and he was in a neck brace for the longest time. It wow. was really good though, because it was during work. It was a work-related thing. Oh, he got compensated for that. That's so wow. He was out for like a year and a half, and they paid him paid leave. Yeah. What? I mean, I don't. I would have rather it not happen. Well, obviously. Obviously. But it it's still looking cool. Weird, you know, money he off made of that. Money off staying home. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Was he in a brace? He was in a brace for a while. That's rough. There's pictures of him when I used to play football when I was 
Oh, this was a while ago. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was a little guy. I was like, no. I probably you still are little. <laughs> I'm still little. Don't kill me, please. <laughs> I was like seven, eight, or nine-ish from there in that range. And there's pictures because my mom's a big photographer and whatever. And she's yeah. taking pictures of me playing and him on the sideline doing like the, the kids, how many plays they get. Oh. And uh, it's him in a neck brace. Oh, wow. Dead. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Scary. And then he hurt his back like two more times or three more times after that. Yeah. Because of it or just? Because, yeah, it's related to it. But like doing other shit. Dang. Yeah. And now That's he. Tough. He started working for Verizon, for, for Verizon like he was 22, 23. Wow. No. 20, 20. Oh, this was while he was working at Verizon? Yeah. It was a little bit late. Dang. Yeah, he's working for Verizon. He's oh. going on strike or whatever. But he's turning 50. So it'll be his 30th year. And in their contract, once you work 30 years, you're going to retire. So wow. he's retiring at 50. He, wants, he didn't want to retire at 50, but he could. Nice. That's cool. cool. Wow, so he could just decide one day to just stop And he working. has a pension. So he has a fat load of money waiting. Well, I mean. Like, a lot. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is nice. I like it. It's it's see, that's what I'm saying. It feels... It's it's cash, you should, you should join this. It gives you something to hold. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want it. I mean... Do you want it? I'll go Do for it. it. <laughs> hold on, I got you. Oh, she's doing right, it. Right, right. You need another pink? That just disconnects the XLR. Yeah, that. You're now disconnected. Hello? You're now wireless. Hello? Am I back? Yep. Yeah, I am. I'm good, I think. This is yeah. interesting. I don't know how to feel. I don't. I mean, do you want it back? No, it's okay. It's good. I mean, do you, I mean, we have all changed. We went to the dark side. Yeah. We went to the dark side. Oh, what the fuck? No, we need subject. We need. Oh, speaking of subject. Want to talk about wrestling? Ooh, that's actually a hot topic. And Is I think it? we did. We discuss this in the beginning. How I first met you. Right. Did we go to college? How we first met. Mm. What's your favorite wrestling memory, Mr. Gumarez? Ah, don't talk about this. Okay. Um. <sighs> well, I think one of my favorites was the weigh-ins. I was yeah. at <laughs> The locker room freaked out. Do you go drink some water. Do you remember when I got like stuck in a locker? What? Were you there for that? Got stuffed in a locker. Oh yeah, the yeah. really, really tiny ones. <laughs> you remember that? They locked it, right? <laughs> yeah, they locked it. I thought so. What? I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff. Yeah, it was. It was good. He was a teeny tiny ninja. No, we're not. No, I was a little small. He was a. He was a ninja boy. I was petite, as many of us say. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little guy. That's for sure. Yeah, I was like ninety-five pounds. Yo, hold up. Related to this, how much do you weigh? How much you weigh now? What percentile are you? One. Weighing? 14? Yo! He's putting on some weight. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. What percentile are you in now? Like, I actually, I hit the second percentile. You were in the first for a while. I was. And now I'm in the second. I was in the third for a while. When I was smaller. I forgot, I don't know what the hell I'm in now. What do you weigh right now? Uh, <laughs> 132. Jeez. Yeah, I was weighing in at 120. Yeah. Oh, nice. So you got a lot of weight to lose. Well, I had. Oh, a can lot. you do the 136? Is that a, is that a weight class? Or is that 130? I'm probably going to do 120 again next year. Oh, right. Yeah. So I was like walking that. around 130 when I lost the weight to go down to 120. Wow. That's a fun time. Oh, my God. Yeah, you probably don't like that. Because <laughs> then you hit the plosives. Plosive. Um, yeah, I lost like. Eight pounds. You eight nine, nine, eight, eight, nine ten. You went to states, New England. Can you play ace? fourth? Should have been in the finals, but we don't talk about that. Well, we can talk about. It. Do you want? Well, about yeah, it? you're right. We can't talk. This about is your that. platform, man. Damn. Yeah. If you want to call someone, I'm this is so. The I am what so happened? used to saying. But oh, hold on, what did I just say? <laughs> yeah. Yo, I'm so it. used to saying. What, 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 oh, what did I say? It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. State. Uh, pretty maybe. much. Uh, that was wrestling. The kid I wrestled in the All State Finals last year, Maximilian Leet. And uh, we're gonna leave out the last name because that's what we do. That's a pretty bad <laughs> name, Maximilian. Yeah, I was about to say, what a name. Sounds like a Greek god. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Sounds like a true. Villain. Tying it all back, guys. <laughs> it sounds, but yeah, um, he kicked my ass last year. 
he like screwed up my shoulder pretty bad. He had a really you, you remember iron bars when you when you stick a roo. Yeah, I remember. Roo? Yeah. Good stuff. So he had that, and he, you know you're supposed to have it like that. Mm-hmm. You, you know about the human body and how the shoulder works. <laughs> yeah. If you have an arm bar and you crank it up like that, <gasps> and the elbow flies up. Ooh. Your shoulder's gonna tear. Yeah, you're not supposed to. And so what he did was, he had it in, he laid on it, and then when he laid on it, the ref couldn't see it, so he brought it all the way up. That's dirty. That is dirty. And then what he did was he isolated my shoulder and brought his elbow all the way over my head. So his fist was, like, in my lat, my lateral, oh, and he brought it all the way over. Did yeah, you do oh it? Oh, my God. What happened? Like, what? I felt like I dislocated it. Did you? I don't know. It felt, it hurt a lot. You should lot. go see a doctor, man. That was last year. Oh. But, but Yeah. I just I can pop it out. Yeah, it's gross. Ew, I can pop it out. Wait, can you do that up close? <laughs> wait, no, no. no wait, wait, no. Are you doing it right yeah, now? I can just. It's gross, but you can't hear it. Oh, okay. Right, hold on. Wait, wait, you might. Don't please. Uh, Putting it back. Going back to the light side. Going back to the light side. All right, so gross. go that was a really loud noise <laughs> <laughs> i didn't like that <laughs> what were we talking oh my shoulder oh you're gonna show us i'll show you the shoulder popping oh god cast turn away <laughs> um uh, be warned be, be partial warned. nudity partial nudity <laughs> and gory content not suitable for children under 13 uh, years of age yeah so oh, man, look right here balls. it's a little like come out it's hard to see but that's the bone up here. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. That's not good, man. Yeah. Uh, ladies, take a look. <laughs> 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 yeah, but uh, I've been able to do that ever since. I can't do it with this one, though. It's just, just hmm. kind of that might, doesn't that move out <laughs> of its socket. Then it might, that might explain a lot. <laughs> it's not good anymore. It just does not feel okay when I do that. That does not look good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So I wrestled him in the New England semifinals and lost five to seven. Oh, but that's close. Oh. You, yeah. So you remember how he said like throwing people? <laughs> yeah, so he I did it to me him. a lot. I th- yeah, I probably did. <laughs> 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 he did. So I threw him, and my feet were in bounds, and the ref Bob Soares, he got kicked out of the tournament. The ref because he was so bad. So this is kid Hayden Brown from Connecticut. Uh, I forget where he's from, but. Aiden Brown was wrestling this guy from Rhode Island. Or from, I don't know where the f- he's from. <laughs> <laughs> I forget. These two kids are wrestling, and the ref had a favor because the ref was a coach. The ref was a coach for uh, this club named Mayo Quanchi. Oh. Uh, that's from Rhode Island. Oh, uh, that's no And uh, so pretty much um, Yikes. the ref was a coach, and the kid that was wrestling was coached by that guy. But uh, no one said anything about it. Fun stuff. <laughs> and uh, pretty much... The kid who wasn't coached by that guy, the kid shot a shot on him, and the kid fell on his butt. He went to go like, grab his hip to like pull himself up. He grabbed his. It wasn't bad. It was perfectly fine. Like grabbing like the yeah, yeah. this bone or the hip. He tried to grab the hip bone. Like yeah, yeah. Pull him into him or pull himself up, and the ref blew the match and was like, "You put your fingers in his butt." <laughs> and they were like, "What?" His <laughs> hand was on his hip. The guy probably or, said, or if anything on his on his butt, and like that shit happens in wrestling. His hands were off his ass, <laughs> and like the the New England tournament was like videoing it, and so it was like a live oh. stream. Oh, uh, so they kicked so him. they so caught him. Yeah. Wow, what a loser! And it, it was that guy's last tournament. Man, All done. people like you give us a bad rap. But yeah, that guy refed my max meet rap. match, <laughs> and I, I threw him. He went to his back. The guy gave me two points for that takedown. And I didn't move from where I was to get the takedown. Then he was like, you're out of bounds, though. I'll give you the two points for a takedown. You guys were out of bounds. And I was like, wow. I mm. haven't moved, dude. Why didn't you give me, like, a, a couple backs or something? Some back points. So, so he, he was, was like, when, when was he yeah. kicked? Huh? Was the, when was the ref kicked? After that match. Oh, okay. So he ref my match, and then he ref the Hayden Brown match. What an idiot. And then he was, he was all done. He was out. What a loser. That's the rumor. He got fired, but apparently he retired. Ah, wow. That's it was his last tournament. 
Oh, so he just didn't mm. care. Uh, dude, that's there's two sides. So I've heard he he got fired that tournament by the head officials. Uh huh. And I have heard that it was his last tournament going into it, and he retired after that. Huh. Which I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry, sure. I just got that thing where your eyes like lock on something. Yes, and you can't really move. that happens to me a lot. And you, like wherever you move, it's still on it. You're like, hold on, sorry, I just gotta get rid of this thing. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's that. But basically, my road through that last tournament because New England's is the last tournament. Is it, so that, what? There's no nationals. Well, I'm going. I don't know if I want to go to nationals because there's team nationals and then there's individual oh, nationals. Are you gonna do individuals if you were to go? Oh, that's the thing. I don't know yet. I don't know if oh. I should go with my team <laughs> or if I want to go do my own thing. So, yeah. Uh, New England's went pretty well. Lit. Pretty swell. Besides that, that semifinals match. First match, I had the New Hampshire All-State finalist. Mm-hmm. He took second. Oh, wow. Beat him 11-1. Yeah. to one. <laughs> Wow. And then <laughs> I had the Vermont State champion who's only lost two times in his career. No. He's a junior, so he's only lost, yeah, two or three times in his career. He's like a hundred and hundred twenty something and three, and I wow. beat him six to two. No way! His no. dad was pissed. Was there like a controversial call that they made? No. Oh. <laughs> I dominated the entire match. It was it was cool, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't supposed to win that at all. That's the best feeling. It, it really is. I was... You're the underdog, and then you win. I know. Let me... Mm. All right. Are you going to put, like, video clips in this? This no? whole thing's going up on YouTube. I know. You oh, put, oh, like, oh. other video clips, We though. could, if you want. I just want to show you the, the cool takedown to, like... Hold on. Okay. This isn't it? Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, so this was the first takedown the entire match. I don't know how to put this up. Hold on. So yeah, um, this was it was zero zero. Oh Jesus! I I can see. Ugh. And I do this crazy roll. Oh. And then I get two points, and then I hit a cool little slide by duck under, and then I hit a backflip. Do you guys want to see a backflip? Yes. You guys want to see a backflip? Uh, backflip. That's that's the like the view from like the the New England video. Whoa. And then my dad has a video that I transitioned in. You took him down with a backflip. I got out. I got out. He grabbed my leg when I was trying to escape, and he put it all the way up there. He put it all the way up oh on his gosh. shoulder. So I was like, what else am I going to do? So I just flung over. <laughs> it was pretty cool. That's awesome. In that same match, he tried to like, come in behind me. <laughs> Watch. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was a fun tournament. That was a good tournament. Dude. Oh, my God. Definitely I don't think I've tournament. ever seen you do a backflip. Yeah. Well, no, I've seen you do backflips, but yeah. I don't think I've seen you do one in that. One-footed. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. It was a good tournament. Wow. It was a fun tournament. Yikes. I definitely wish I, wish I wrestled better. Yeah, but, this is know, why I lost happens. to him all the time. Yeah, because I'd be doing backflips out of a single leg. <laughs> yeah, you know, like <laughs> Just amateur stuff. Like stuff. That. Yeah, yeah. It happens. But, yeah, I just hyped myself up. Now I'm in a hyper mood. Lit. Hmm. Hype time. Do you want to talk about nutrition? Um, I don't know. I don't know much about nutrition. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> what about it? Well, I don't like, know. What, I like, just saw your, this nutrition your, facts your, your right lifestyle? here. Your lifestyle? Like, oh yeah, you must have to go on a a really <laughs> bad. I don't know. I was just like looking around, like, what should I talk about? And it was like nutrition facts, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> this is how good stuff starts. Nutrition facts. Hmm. What's your calorie intake on a normal day? Not 2,000. <laughs> Not 2,000? Yeah. I need yours? to eat a lot Not more. Not 2,000 either. Whoa. I need to eat a lot more. This is why I'm I just, I just eat a lot. <laughs> well, see, I can eat a lot. My calorie intake varies. Sometimes I'll eat a lot, but sometimes I'm just, you know, not eating a lot. It happens. Like, I didn't have lunch today. I don't have lunch during school days because I don't have the effort to wake up and make lunch. So I will not eat the school's food. I ate the school's food. Yeah, yeah I made my lunch. I couldn't do it. This stuff's weird. Mm-mm. Mac and cheese? It's just Mm-mm. a big giant ball sitting in your stomach. Gross. <laughs> that food's gross. <laughs> <laughs> it 
could be a whole lot worse. It could true, be a whole true, lot true. worse. So that's how I look at it. We could just look at it. That's how I look at it. I'm like, wow, this food's not awful for you. Like the pizza? The pizza. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like like know. elementary school. Do you know what really freaks me out? <laughs> Aged cheese. Like with the mold like on blue it? cheese? Like I don't yeah. trust it. Blue cheese? Disgusting. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized you're the only one that doesn't have it. So yeah. here, ready? Oh, you yeah. need a mic. All right, unplug it. So Cassie's going offline. Uh oh. We don't have a cast anymore. Whatever will we do? I, I'm not sure. What will we do? Nothing. Fair. <laughs> Jeez, useless. No, I'm kidding. Damn. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Damn. I'm kidding. We really it's just went there. We it's really joke. just went there. It's a joke. I was joking. Love you, Cass. That was a joke. Oh, gosh. That was a really unpleasant noise. Is it like a good sound? What do you mean? Okay, okay, we get it. <laughs> Sorry for you listeners and for anybody watching this. Yeah, but aged cheese? Mm-mm. I don't trust it. Blue cheese just. Uh, really no, moldy. isn't it? Does no. it have like mold in it? Yeah, yeah. it's oh, gross. No, no, no. Dude, that's no. just nasty. I don't Mm-mm. like that. Ugh. Can't do it. Uh, <laughs> maybe because I have like, a little tendency to like be lactose intolerant, but I'm not sure. Really? Oh. Like, I have a little tendency. It's not like I'm going to like. Die if I eat ice cream. I don't think anyone dies if they're lactose intolerant. Well, you might just poop yourself. I mean, if you're bad. allergic to dairy, <laughs> that's different. That's a different story. That's yeah. what I mean. Not like, oh. yeah. I'm a little, I'm a little tad sensitive to dairy, but that's about it though. <laughs> like, there's some things that just piss off my, what's that thing called? Your uh, digestive system. Your, digestive your GI. System. I was thinking of your intestines. No. Your GI tract. No. Uh, stomach. No, your colon. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the thing that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Some foods. The first time <laughs> I ate Chipotle, my colon was not. Happy. I have never eaten Chipotle. Yeah, me neither. You guys live underneath a rock. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Proven. I came into your house, and this is quite the size of a rock. <laughs> this thing is it's a pretty big enormous. rock. <laughs> you live underneath it. What do you mean you haven't been to Chipotle? <laughs> Chipotle. Uh, Honestly, I'm kind of... I kinda, mean, maybe I'm, like once, but like... I'm kinda I've been to Qdoba. Qdoba's... I don't, I don't know if I've been there. It's, it's, it's good. I think I've eaten too much there. Chipotle to the point where I'm just kind of like... I want to eat Chipotle now. I don't think I want to eat it for a while. Like, I've gotten it too much. Oh, really? Yeah. That's, uh, that's tragic. It's a shame. It's good food. People think it's fast food, but you watch the people make the food. <laughs> not necessarily what that <clears throat> My mom labeled it as fast food, and I was like... <laughs> do, you think it, do you think Chipotle is fast food? Do I think it is? Yeah. No. I it's turn like that as a restaurant. Food. I like think restaurant, it's a fast food. Ah, uh, well, but you can yeah, get fast food. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. You know what? Because it's not a restaurant. Yeah, but it's not, it's not fast, fast food. food. You, it's it's the, you can't. You can't get like you can't. There's no drive-through, which but I you think, can sit down. Which I think is a staple in fast food. Mm-hmm. If yeah. you're if you're a fast food restaurant like a McDonald's, well, you've got to have a drive-through. Starbucks. Fast food. Starbucks. Fast food. Fast food? Uh, because they do serve food. But it's a coffee it's shop. It's like made of coffee, right? Yeah. Like Dunks. It's like Dunk, yeah. Same thing. Coffee shop. I don't know. Dunkin' Donuts has got very gross. Very gross. Oh, God. Very, very. Yes. You're uh, holding the mic around. Am I? Yeah. Yeah, I can kind of hear it. This is. So basically, you talk into the like Excel they can't volume. Hear you over here. They can hear you over here. Yeah. Yep. That's <laughs> yeah. Yep. The the universal test for audio. <laughs> Guys, got any games on your phone? <laughs> uh, we're still recording. Damn. Damn. How long has it been? It's been an, uh, it's been two hours and ten. Minutes. Oh my god. I know time flies, right? I feel like I'm in an interrogation room. I don't like these lights. Right. You? Honestly, yeah. What? I feel like I'm a honeybee. Yes. Finally, you're the first person to agree with me on this. Like, yeah, I don't. Are we gonna use that incandescent light bulb above at least us? It's not I don't. Stupid I don't not like them. I don't know. 
They're Hold too on. bright. Let me, do they hurt you? Do they give you a headache? Because yeah, that's no, what she. No, get, that, no. Yeah, they see, because my mom see? has lights. You're crazy. And they are bright. They're really bright. Like brighter like than that. Hmm. Like I can look at those and look like away. Like these, these type of lights. Brighter. Jeez. Yeah, and they're like bigger too. For what? Photography. Oh, she does. Yeah, she's a mad photographer. Oh, that's so no, cool. No, no, not a, I didn't. If that came off mad sounding like bad, <laughs> she's like into photography. She's, she's a like photographer. Basically, is she a professional s- pr- photographer? Uh, she's sub hobby. She's basically a professional. That's what's cool. She did people's senior pictures, so I don't know if that. Is she like addicted to photography? She likes taking pictures. <laughs> so I would call that an addiction. I, I mean, it's, it's a good addiction. addiction. That's a cool addiction. The only time she really takes photos is like at our sporting events. I think. Cool yeah, unless it's like a family's like, hey, you want to make us a little card? You want to take some pictures? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I got you. <laughs> got you, bro. But, uh, yeah, she likes photography. Damn. Sounds pretty mad, man. Now we're in a hole and we don't know what to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> we've gone down a really big rabbit hole and we're kind of, uh, how do we dig bottom. ourselves back up? Um,. Let's talk about food again. <laughs> 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 food is really just a great thing. Uh, don't talk about food. I agree. Stop it. It's like the tenth time. I'm out of water. Do you want some of mine? No. Heck no. Are you a germaphobe? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I remember. Vaguely. Which you would think doesn't really mix well with wrestling. Yeah. And it or being a doctor. <laughs> it doesn't it. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> uh, I don't regret it. It was a nice workout. Wrestling was an awesome workout. It, yeah. it's, it's intense. The Pembroke wasn't even the hardest of it. Really? Let me, yeah. It gets hard. Oh, the dungeon? Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's a really... Like, drawing with game. me is like... Because you're new, so I'm obviously not going like, to try and kill you. Well, you did. Well, but well, kind of. Well, kind of. I didn't go all out, you but did. like when I'm drilling at like dungeon per se with like another kid who's like a state champ, we go hard. Oh, I'm, I'm yeah. Sure. It's scary. Remember me. the picture of my eye that was really bad? Oh yeah, yeah. I've, I saw you. I was wrestling off for a spot on a team because like there are other kids who wanted to wrestle the same weight as me, what? so they had to wrestle me, and if they won, they got the spot. So I went for a roll on bottom. And the kid, like, so I went for, like, a shoulder roll. So yeah. I rolled over my shoulders. Mm-hmm. So the kid followed on top of me, and he dropped down his knee, <gasps> slammed against my eye. Huh, <sighs> similar experiences. It was bad. Blew That's up. Bad. Got nice and big. Yeah, I hope you like him. I thought it was bleeding on the mat. <laughs> I couldn't see. Oh. It, got, oh. it got so big. It was below. It got so big that it covered just, the, like, the under part of my retina. Wow. Yeah, I got real big. We got to go to the ho- like I finished the wrestle off too. I oh, got really? it mid match, so I, I hit that roll, got hit in the face, and then ironically enough, that went for another roll. So you had no depth perception. No, not at that eye. And this is my bad eye, thank God. Actually, I forget what eye it was in. Let me figure that out. Because if it was in this eye, that's bad news. You don't remember? I don't remember. I think it was in your right eye. Because I have gotten many black eyes. Many, not as like awful as that, but good stuff. <laughs> um, Cass, any any experiences similar to that? Can't say that I have. Uh, yeah. No, it's my left eye. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, camera. If you can see that, look, it's pretty. Holy crap! Yeah. Was that a selfie that you took? Um. Because if it was, then it's reversed, uh, and it would be your right eye. No, my my mom took like a picture okay, like that. Okay, so that is your left eye. So, yeah, I have a, a cataract in this eye. Oh, snap. It's something like that. Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah. There's like a little tiny pinhole oh my dot. God. Yeah. Born with that. So, I don't have 20 20 vision. I have like 12 20 or 10 20. Wow. Is there a blind eye. spot or is it just. M- it's not muffled. black, it's just everything's blurry. Oh. Like, I can't see anything. Like, from. If I did. Uh, how do I word this? Like, I can't see that camera anymore. It's really difficult. Like, wow. everything that's past that camera is black. Oh, that's really true. Yeah. Like, can't see past your head. It's hard to see that hole, to be honest. But I open this eye, it's like, oh, I can see everything. Wow. Yeah. You know, it's weird, though. My dad was born with kind of the same thing. It's like a keyhole. So, like, you know, the black part of your eye? Yeah. It, like, 
droops down. Wow. Yeah, so, like, part of the color in your eye. So, I saw it, like, circle, and then black part. I came down like that. Wow. That's pretty cool. It was pretty sick. And yeah, I have in this, the different cool. eye. He has it in his left eye, I think, which is, it's weird. That's whack. Yeah, it's, it's funky. And then I somehow get a cataract in my eye. It's genetic, probably. I don't know if it's genetic. Uh, but yeah, we were both born with it, so I don't know. Ooh. Be a weird little characteristic to pass down. Mm. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, that would be. That would be a strange. A little odd. I would agree. Well, we're the permitters. We have a genetic thing. <laughs> <laughs> we always have something going on with our eyes. Did you ever watch Hot Ones? Yes. Hot, I was love watching. that oh, show. That show was great. I was basically. I was looking at my Instagram and I was like, "Oh, what if Goo went through my Instagram and was like, explain that post." Oh Jesus! Let's go actually through. Doing it. Let's go through <laughs> He's that. actually doing it. All right. So Instagram. You know they have Instagram for like computers, right? I now, did know right? that. Yeah. Because when my phone got taken away, I was like, I wonder how many likes my picture got. So I was like, I wonder if it's Instagram. Wait. And I was like, Damn, guys. Hold up. Explain that picture. Hot ones is a real. Would you consider Hot Ones a podcast? No. No. It's it's for me. It's about the length. Does size matter? Yes, size matters. <laughs> Gosh darn it, we're giving him too much content, man. <laughs> All right, so Ryan Parmenter. If I'm not following, I'm not following. It's Rye Parm. Oh, I'm not you're following not you. Following me, goo. Oh, you're public though. Yeah, of course. Ooh. Hmm. I'm gonna do my eyes. This post. I don't know. I'm just gonna do Which it. one? Which one? Is that your cat? That's a I just think you look sick. Oh, explain this post. Uh, it reminds me of the uh, Chris Hogan when he had the ball. Um, there's that slow motion shot of him where he had he had the football and he rolled it off his finger <laughs> and he pointed <laughs> yeah. in the direction. This of is the, my first the round at States, and I pinned that kid. And if you look at the headgear closely. I have like the uh, the hairnet. Oh, has to cover my hair. I remember that. Yeah. yeah, you had to do that. Throwing that over there to my coach. Although they didn't always require you to have that. It was no. weird. It was a little odd. A lot of wrestling stuff. Yeah, I've been doing it for like eleven years, eleven, uh, twelve years. This one. Which one? Oh wait. No, X X X. That's right. I don't. I never listened to his music. I couldn't identify him. I thought that was you. I'm sorry. You thought <laughs> you thought <laughs> it was black. <laughs> no, in that shot, okay, the lighting's really weird. The lighting. That's fair. Weird. He does kind of look white. That lighting, okay, the lighting in this shot. Come on. That's true. That's fair. That would have been a cool picture if that was me, though. Uh, cool picture. Uh, we know about that one. You, I'm gonna, you can surprise me. I'm going to surprise you. You have a lot of posts. Yeah, ooh, 200 ooh, and something. Ooh. Maybe some tea, perhaps? Maybe some That's Terry. Who's Terry? Terry Palmer. She's a little pet broke. Are you guys? Um, no. Okay. She's a boy friend. Moving on. <laughs> Ryan's disappointed. <laughs> Come, on. <laughs> Come on. Gosh, that could have been some content. What about this some one? Some content. That is loud. I'm not going to play it. Can I hear that through? I, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> it's playing, it's playing. I thought I was, because I remember what that sounded like. I was like, wait, <laughs> am I freaking out right now? <laughs> no, nah, it was going through headphones. Yeah. Uh, is, do you remember that or no? Yeah. That, that, that's, uh. I was in upstate New York. Ooh. Yeah. Exotic. Honestly, you can play it. Yeah, go for it. It's kind of loud, but... Yeah, like, let's take off your headphones just a little bit. Yeah, this was in upstate New York. Uh, that's a female, believe it or not, yelling. Uh, did you say something? I, I oh, couldn't no, hear keep going. Yeah, oh, you're okay. fine. Cool little series of moves. Oh yeah, that kid's ass was open pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's in upstate New York. We're pretty much in Canada. This is my good friend's ass. This is trippy. Yeah. Cuts in and out. Lots of he hit that cool roll. I should have had two points. Oh, oh, you yeah. just manhandle him. Yeah, that was his head. That was wow. bad. Nice. That's the beginning. Yeah, 
you're good. Yeah, I was but, upstate New York though. That was a fun time. So we're we're going back into the past. Holy crap! Can put the headphones back on. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Did you have them on the whole time? No, I was going like oh, this. Okay. Well, that, was that was loud. <laughs> I thought I was just freaking out for a sec. I was like, wait, I can hear that. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Hmm. I could make a controversial call right now. I'm not going to. Controversial call. I like controversy. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Is that my freshman year? <laughs> Controversial call. Uh, yeah, that was my freshman year. I guess his name's Melissa. That's my friend Ava. <coughs> mm-hmm. It wasn't my idea, believe it or not. Moving on. It wasn't my idea. What do you mean? It wasn't the parental idea? advisory. Uh, yeah. You like that? Yeah. That was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Melissa, I don't even really know. She's like, I have an idea. And then she just never told me. <laughs> she told Ava, but then she was like, the idea is going to action. And I was like, whoa. What's happening? What is. And then it just went and then was when I got in I was it was called the GoPro, GoPro freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted a GoPro for so long. <laughs> I haven't really used it to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, this looks this is twenty fifteen. Yeah. It was a little bit ago. Hmm. <laughs> AliExpress. <laughs> <laughs> Some dark stuff on that hmm. website. That's Hannah Archibald. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you play it. Meme Lord. <laughs> oh, it's a video. All right, heads up. Oh. <laughs> 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 the face. <laughs> <laughs> the face. Uh, the video is so funny. Oh, Sky Zone. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Hmm. There's so much stuff to go through. That's what I like about it. A lot Instagram. of content. You have you post a, a lot, lot of people. How many posts do you have? Two hundred and <laughs> dude, I have like five. <laughs> I have, I do archive stuff too. Um. Oh, 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 watch that video. That video is this one. Yeah. Enjoy. It is <laughs> pretty much a ninja kick. Is there no sound? No, no sound. He's got a ninja kick to his booty. Oh, yeah, that's dirty. <laughs> he just did you pin him after that? No, I ended, oh. up, I ended up hurting him after that. Oh, you hurt it? Oh, yeah. Look at the score; it's like five to one. It ended up being twenty to five. Wow. Yeah, I didn't like him. <laughs> I didn't like him. <laughs> uh, good stuff. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. That was. We'll put that to bed because <laughs> you guys probably can't see anything. Uh, whoa, we're two and a half hours in. Let's go through the Gumarzes. Ryan Gumarzes. Yeah, you're not going to find a lot. I have like a picture of a golf ball or the Epcot ball. Yeah, you need to change your profile pic. What? No, I like that picture. What is it? It's the Epcot golf ball, but at night. They have lights that are on it. What what golf ball? Epcot. What's that? that? In In Disney? Disney? Hold on. I'm in Disney. Cassidy's about to freak out. (laughs) She's about to lose her mind. I've been to Florida uh, a couple times. That's the oh F- yeah this yeah one. yeah okay. That's it at night. What I know looks cool, right? Yeah, I totally keep that. So I made that my profile. Keep picture. that as your profile picture. Oh yeah, that's cool. See, cast. Damn, what is this? Who knows what? Bot ball. Oh, bot ball. What's so, bot ball? Um, Cassidy, all like she always cringes when we talk about bot ball. Um, oh, that's really Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> <laughs> he's in my gym class. Shout out to Jimmy. Sophomore year. Um, so, bot ball is a competition where you just build robots, and you're only allowed to play two. There's a game board. Mm-hmm. It's eight feet by eight feet. It's a square. Oh wait, no, sixteen feet. No, it is eight feet by eight feet. I lied. Um, it's so I'll actually pull one up. Bot so ball. you make robots, and I guess they play. play they don't uh, fight. They play with a ball. They no. Lost. But good guess. Yeah, it was, a, it was a great guess. So like this one, this was la- this was actually last year's. So are y- these obstacles? are just these are the starting boxes. So basically, there's a bunch of different things that you can do, and you score points by doing them with your robots. So there were palms on black tape. If you move them off the black tape, you get a certain amount of points. If you put them somewhere, like this tram right here, it's just 
dangly thing from the top. You get a lot of points. You can move the tram, um, which scores a lot more points. There's the bot guy. I don't know if you can see it. He's in the middle there. He's like the one okay. big point scoring thing. Um, there's two sides. So this side is identical to the other side. You're always facing up against a team. And the obje- uh-huh. you have two minutes to do whatever you want on the board with your robot, but it's all autonomous. It's what, all what programmed. What does that mean? Oh, auton- okay. So it's all on its own. You don't control it. You program it. You have to hold on. Is so this game board universal? Yeah. Okay. So you all get the same game board at the start. Like every, every time. Yeah. Like every single game. So, so you get the game board at the start so of the year. So there's a game in California and a game in Massachusetts. Yeah, same, same board. Same one? Same okay. board, same rules. So I was like, this looks kind of... So what happens is... Um, you program your robots months before the actual competition. You start test running it. Damn. You start building it. And you can you build a robot from scratch. And Damn. you program it from scratch. And then months later, in like April, you compete at the regional competition in Whoa. New England. It's at UMass Lowell. Um, so and you're, then you're going all the way to Lowell. Yeah, Lowell. And then <laughs> after that, there's a global competition, which last year, last summer, was held in Palm Springs, California, which we Whoa. went to. It was pretty good. The year before that was in Oklahoma. We don't talk about that because it wasn't as fun. We did good, but it wasn't. What did you guys place? Um, We placed eighth overall. In the world? world. Um, Damn. There were like 64 teams at Globals. But at the regional competition, we placed third. Damn. So um, the regional competition was in April, like mid-April. And then the global competition was... Where were the other global teams from? Like all over the world. Really? Yeah, like Europe... India, China, damn, damn, and they just fly That's out. Pretty sick. They fly out to California. Um, in the regional competition, imagine if you got to go to like Europe or something that like that. That would be awesome. That'd be sick. Um, I don't think it's they're they're based in Oklahoma. Oh. Bot ball like headquarters is in Oklahoma, oh. so I imagine it's gonna stay in America. But it'd Most be nice likely. to have it. Imagine if like yeah, you guys are going to London next year. <laughs> yeah, that would be sick. The I year mean, you graduate, they it would like, be like, you're going really hard to, to get there. But Indonesia, yeah. and you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. So that's fun. Nah. So that's that's what that what is. That's that what that post was. So that's just from last that's year's competition. That's cool. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That one. That's, that's pretty difficult. She I went too. The whole mm-hmm. family went. Yeah. We, so what Damn. we did was we went to Bot Ball, and then after that we took like this family trip to um, Disneyland. That works out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and like that Universal must be Studios. hard programming a robot. It was uh, interesting. Interesting. Um, Did you guys like create the like a replica of the game board to try and test yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. We bought we bought our own materials and then built it. And actually, over the summer when we were preparing for globals, we actually moved the board down in our basement. Really? And we just had the team come over every now and That's then. That's kind of sick. Just, yeah, it was awesome. Um, my friend Greg and I. He was the programmer. Greg Kaplowitz. I don't know if you know him. You m- probably don't know him. Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> he was the head programmer, and I was the engineer. I built the robots. He coded them. Um, we pulled an all-nighter. Like, we stayed up until, like, 4 in the morning. He brought over bagels. He worked at Panera Bread. And oh, I have a friend who works at Panera Bread. Dude. And every every <laughs> Spanish class, oh, no way. he brought in, like, an entire, like, apple fritter. Like, not in the little <laughs> small <laughs> ones. Like, it was, like, an <laughs> apple f- pie. <laughs> <laughs> like, a big one. That's like, it awesome. It was huge. Uh, Miss Anderson bad. was like... Free food, man. What Would do I do? Would you with the, with the <laughs> class? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's he brought in his own awesome. glass tray, and, like, he heated it up for, like, 30 minutes before he left school or something like that. It was it was warm. I don't know what the hell he did. He brought it in a glass tray. <laughs> it was warm. She must have done something with it before. Probably nuked it. We had it first thing. And he removes the, the tinfoil, and it's just this big That's apple beautiful. pie. It was huge. The whole class ate an apple pie in Spanish. <laughs> That's was, awesome. It was, pre- it was pretty uh, cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. It was stuff. pretty cool. It was cool. <sighs> oh, man. Hmm. Are we done here? Are we? Perhaps. Two and a half hours, guys. That's this is good stuff. Two and a half hours. Well. This is our second longest podcast. Really? Second only to Matt Bianco. Go check him out. Episode 12. I We're going to really be you. Nothing. Two hours more. <laughs> 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 no. Just to pull an all-nighter. <laughs> 24-hour podcast. I wonder if that's a thing. There's like a world record. I don't know. For the longest It's like podcast. 80 hours. 80 hours. Oh, my hours. God. So the way it works is you can't stop talking for more than 10 seconds. Or like five seconds, I think. No was. way. Yeah. I think they had other people come in. 
I feel like they were. They good had to. Have. They yeah. yeah. There's you no. Know, you run out of stuff to talk about. Yeah. Like in two hours. Well, no, it, you don't even have to just talk about stuff that you just can't stop speaking. So you, you can just like read like, like a that. book. Yeah, you can read books. Read a book. Yeah. That would be a good idea <laughs> to try and achieve yeah. that. It's called audiobooks. <laughs> oh, you're thinking. You're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you can do the sleeping while the audiobook is. It has a malfunction. One, two, three, four, five. No, you're out. You're all done. <laughs> that would suck. That would. would you want to talk the entire time? Just be like, hi. One, two, three, <laughs> What's four, up? Five. Hi. Just do that. <laughs> you're just like trying to. What if <laughs> you recorded yourself saying hi and then played it back every three seconds and no one would know? Well, actually, I imagine well, you'd have, have to lip it. You know what? Maybe you just maybe you have to live stream it because then people wouldn't know if you're legit or not. Because you could just edit it. Yeah. You probably have to live stream it. For sure. Or do it in front of an official. But if, what official is going to want to sit there for True. eight hours? <laughs> Yeah. Or even switch off for that matter. That would suck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, imagine just, like, having to do that or m- trying to do that. That's like, we've been here for two hours. Imagine being here for 78 more. I, no. I'll be back in school by then. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We'll, we'll be midway through our week. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, 80, uh, 80 hours. Yeah. I'm just thinking about it. 80 hours is three days. Uh, more than three days. What? Three days and like four hours. I don't know. What is it? Three days and that four hours. That is. Three days and eight hours. That's weird to think about. You'd be halfway yeah. through your week once you're done. Yeah. 80 hours. Mm-hmm. That's weird. Mm-hmm. Time's a weird thing. That's a thing to talk about. Time. time. Is time relative? Uh, it's Isn't it spring ahead today? Oh, is you it? You know, daylight savings? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Pretty serious. Mm-hmm. You think, yeah, you think it's serious. No, I'm not kidding. Time. Time is a weird thing. We just go based off what the the Mayans and the Incans yeah, calendar. Like I, I don't know, I forget who made it. Mayans, Incans. Are they Greek? The gr- I don't know if they're the Greek. Are we? Mayans. The Mayans. No, but the, yeah. the calendar that we're currently on. Isn't the Roman calendar? I thought well, it was Romans the Mayans. Well, Romans added on like two months because they wanted to. Yeah, because they said so. <laughs> I did not know that. What month yeah. did they add on? July yeah. and August. I think. Just had a jet, like, yeah, had on July Because they're both 30 days. Because oh, yeah. you have January, February. Yeah, my dad knows May, that June, trick. July, yeah. August, September, October, November, what? December. What? Yeah. They're both, y- your uncles? So here's how it works. Ready? We start on one end. The big bumps is the 31 days, and the little bumps is the 30 days, or in February's case, 28 days. The big bump, January, 31 days. Fe- February, February, March, a little bump, a little April. More. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Wow. Yeah, so if you ever forget. <laughs> wow. You just I learned something. I know. <laughs> Mind blown. But time. Is time like. Subjective. It's subjective. I don't even know. How, like, it's a social construct. It's it a social it construct. I we think make up time. Is it though? I think it's a social construct. Um. Yeah. Well, the seconds. Like who? Who says? We. That? Well, we just made up seconds. We, we didn't just make up seconds. What? We did make up seconds. Yeah. We 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 mm-hmm. defined one second as a certain period of time. We defined one hour as a certain amount of seconds or a certain period of time. We defined milliseconds as a certain period of time. That's weird. That's things that we put on it. But time in general is just ever going. That's weird to think about. Yeah. Time never stops. Back to religion. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I love how Back to religion. Whoa. We don't, there's all people up. who don't believe in God. That's me. But what year is it right now? 2018 after Christ. 2019. Or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Yo, I'm still in 2018, dude. <laughs> I wish we were. <laughs> Holy crap. I don't. I hated being a sophomore. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I was kind of partially junior, but for the most part, sophomore. Sophomore yeah. year was not fun. Uh, but yes. How does it tie into religion? Huh? How does it tie into religion? BC. Oh, oh BC and AD. Um, well, yeah. we're using it to, well, we can't just all of a sudden say, oh, it's not. It's more of, 
here's a weird question. What was the year zero? Hmm, that was when Christ. Because that's before Christ. Uh, well, technically, wasn't there a period of that time? That was the day he died. But right? wasn't there technically a period of time? Yeah, but they like counted down as in yeah, counting up. they counted up to no, zero. but like so so that's two years two so Hold two on. Well, where so they hold start on. then? So two BC, Christ doesn't exist yet. One BC, Christ does doesn't exist yet. Zero BC, he now exists. There is no BC and AD. So is there a period of time where it's Jesus Christ and then he dies? That's where AD starts. That's what I'm saying. So is there an interval of time After when death. there's no time? My Fuck. dude, I wish I knew. There's just no years there. Because you have 0 BC and 0 AD. Or 1 BC and 1 AD. What about the time when Jesus was alive? The 40 or whatever amount of time he was alive. I don't know how long he lived. No, it just went from BC to AD automatically because he was born. It's no longer before but Christ. That's a, but AD that's stands after for, but death. AD stands for after death. No, which it stands means for something else. No, it stands for after death. It stands death. for like a Latin thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to construct this in my head. Oh. What does it stand for? Anno something, right? Yeah, it's some Latin thing. Ha. But what does it translate to? In know. the year of the Lord. Ha. ha. So so the A D stands for a no domini. What does that mean? In Latin, which means in the year of the Lord. So it's kind of and refers Christ. specifically so to the birth of Christ. B C stands for before Christ. So, so it went from B C to A D. He was born on zero. And now it's AD. Now it's AD. So we're basing our so makes time sense. off when of Christ some fictional died. Guy. Or like we're basing I don't know. It on some I don't hippie. Know if he He's basically a hippie. <laughs> Jesus Christ is a hippie. He also hates gays. <laughs> that's yeah, the big thing. I, that's so. the big thing I get out of it. The I only thing I really think about. But see, people who say that I disagree with because I don't think he would hate gays. Well, he doesn't hate anyone. He, he, that's his whole yeah, thing. Yeah. He doesn't hate Satan, but Satan wants to kill him. Obviously. Yeah, he doesn't hate Which it. Which I he's think is like a dangerous blood. thing. If, and if you Satan's don't represented by Hades, and why is that? We don't know. What Hades? Hades. But it's like a Greek god. We yeah. actually just watched Hercules like, like last week, was it? Yeah. Yeah, last week. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. interesting. It's interesting. Like, conspiracy, conspiracy theories are interesting. So, there's the argument that Jesus did exist, but he wasn't the son of God. That he didn't exist, and that it's just purely a story. Or that he existed... And he was the son of God. So I err on the side of that he existed, but he just claimed to be the son of God and just wasn't. That's my Well, then theory. he came back alive. Apparently. Supposedly. We don't know. That's the story going around. That's the story. That's the rumor. <laughs> <laughs> I heard, the, I heard uh, Stacy talking about how Jesus supposedly rose from <laughs> Everyone's just like, yeah, yeah, he did. It's like, there's people a rumor going pe- around the people world. People take that. People just take that as literal. I know. Oh, yeah, weird. he just rose from the dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Of course. It's like no one else is doing that. No questioning. That. Ah, don't doubt God's story. Stop. <laughs> you enjoy saying that. I'm begging. You enjoy saying that. <laughs> that you just jinxed it. So I'm a mess hard. today. Spider. Seriously? That's just not a spider. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Is there seriously a spider? I, I thought it's a cockroach <gasps> or something. That's a stink bug. Where? It's uh, right there. How did that get there? How did you get Parks there? Parks were in the attic and stuff falls from uh, an attic. Did that just show I don't up? Know, I just saw it. We'll see it. We'll see it. The, f- the scary thing is you're going to see it like when it showed up on the thing. Well, if you like landed on your head and then crawled down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. I hate bugs. Want me to put it on you? Yeah? No. <laughs> uh, I think this is a great time to <laughs> call it. You think so? I think we're in the middle of a discussion about time, Jesus, no, I and religion. I think religion. it's time to end. I don't want to be here anymore. Really? It's an awkward place to end. Brian. I don't want to. I don't want to be here. Brian, there you go. Shut up. Stink bug. Don't touch my equipment. <laughs> he really is touching it. Stop. That's mine, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> Go away! I don't like bugs. <laughs> He's really just. <laughs> 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 I need to go. Oh my goodness! I just got He's all that on video. Stop touching my cable. That's my cable, not yours. <laughs> he falls back. <laughs>
Poor See, guy. I Check don't mind out. bugs. I just hate spiders. So when you said spider, I was about to freak out. <laughs> spider. <laughs> oh, gosh. Spider, you just take a seat. No, we need to leave. All right. Um, thank you guys for listening. It's been great. Um, <laughs> he hates bugs. He hates bugs. I, I feel like it just ended because like now I, I sound should, weird. But I do. I don't want to hate bugs. Do you, did you end it? No. It I feels don't wanna... like you did. No. I, I sound different. Oh, Jesus. Gosh. What the hell? Hold on. I don't want to. I think I'm freaking out. I don't want to hate bugs, but I hate them. I'm sorry. Do you want to switch seats? Are you that, like, no, terrified I of stink I bugs? <laughs> I don't I don't trust you to get a bug. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what call. are we going to do with it? Is, this, is it just going to Do you die? have a phobia of bugs or an irrational fear or fear of bugs? Yo, are they living in this house? Yes, probably. Oh, gross. <laughs> Stop moving! <laughs> ah! Are we gonna like hit it off the table? I no. I did not know you were this scared of bugs. Yeah, neither did I. Um, well, he's a germaphobe. Mm, makes sense. That doesn't bother me. I'm not loud enough. I've been in Call of Duty before. <laughs> that, it, it's a, a lot louder. I think we need to end this. Two hours and forty minutes. This is a great. <laughs> this is a great point to end. All right. Thanks for... To clarify, we're ending because Ryan's scared of a little bug. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a little, he's a little scared of that little creature right there. Look at the size of you and the size of him. I just assume he's it's just gender. He's just chilling. Oh, that's something. That's what? something. What? It's gender. Yeah? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Because literally, I just went, oh, look at the size of you and the size of him. And someone would literally go, did you just assume that bug's gender? Oh. Some people would do that. Hey, can I, can I introduce a controversy to the situation? How many genders do you think there are? That many. <laughs> we have a what? lot of common, have a lot of things, common, in common. things that we agree in. There are do two. you think gender's a spectrum cast? Well, how... I, I don't know enough about so it. So I think it's... Uh, so I think what it's do you want to say Stop about moving! It. Stop moving! Rye? Just stop moving. Right. Don't Chill. touch my cable. I will break you. Break him. No, I'm not going to break him. I want to see that. No, that's not going to happen. He'd probably how, break how, him. What is, there to th- what is there not to know about there? Yeah, there what other... A, the word that Goose said earlier. Uh, what did I say? <laughs> Penis. <laughs> oh, right. The thing that you... <laughs> Lulled me into saying. And then there's the female version. Um, the no, I'm just saying. The genital bug. We don't have to believe it because it's human anatomy. But that's true. So you got those two. That is what creates. He's looking at me. Right. He's looking at me. And then right. the XY and oh, the XX chromosome. Oh, I think I've touched this fool in front of my face. <laughs> <laughs> you know he freaked out because a ladybug flew at him. I was wearing the same shirt. Fun fact. Not that you cared. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's necessary to say, to, to point out, that I think gender and sex are synonyms. I think they are the same thing. They are the synonyms. Oh, you s- oh, yeah, you put that in your story did, or something. I did, I did. And then I half your confused. room was like, half they're of different. My, my class. My and I was class. like, baffled. I was like, oh my god. I don't like the pose that he's in. I'm just gonna move him. I'm just gonna move <laughs> no, him. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna let everyone know that Ryan ran away. Where'd it go? That's it over there. Ooh. Where'd you go? In my drink. In my drink? No. <laughs> just over in your general area. Yeah, he's somewhere over here. Little guy's gone, though. Where's the iPad? Uh, oh, my phone's <laughs> probably dead. Yeah, he's somewhere over here. The little guy's still dead. Yeah, my phone's dead. Hey, Rack, can I... Just charge it. You can charge it. Okay, but maybe you guys can hear it. This has been fun. It's been productive. Just Where did you go? Definitely. Oh, he's too afraid to come over. <laughs> I think he put it in that thing. That's <laughs> not it. He didn't get to. I think he got to. He's guessing the thing again. Oh, how did you know that? Bug anatomy is different from human anatomy. How?
think you need to go more in depth now. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Tell us more. Tell us more. I want to sit down. I'm curious, Rye. Me as well. I did not know that. Come on, Rye. Come take a seat, sweetheart. <laughs> I think we're still going. Um, we're at currently 244. Where's it go? It's over here, dude. It's gone. I will, I will literally find it for you. <laughs> I'll pick it up and I'll throw it somewhere else. Mother I didn't throw it up. I cannot believe you would advocate for death, Ryan. How dare you? Ooh. Should we end it? I feel like I feel like this is the time. Yeah, this is a great time to end it. Should we end it? Yeah, let's end it. I don't. I do you want to come over here and end it, Rye? Yeah, I will. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, 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 yet. We have one question to see if we can answer. Yeah. Is it a spy or a <laughs> thing? Um, that we have all of the answers to. Okay. It's the Beast Chief. Oh boy. He's is that there the entire time? Yeah, it was there the entire time. I didn't the bug probably stepped on it, Rye. <laughs> <laughs> Who has been on? You technically Coleman touched a bug. Earman has not been on. Oh, I thought I said Earman. But I can't really read here because I gotta read read this all up. Azazel. Uh, How do you pronounce it? Azazel. I don't fucking know. Cody like Tomato. Cory Kentucky. <laughs> Cory Kentucky. Uh, I don't know what that one says. Uh, Amy? Oh, Ryan answered Amy? Yeah. Jeez, how many times have you said your mouth there? And then Scrubby Woodward. This is getting on my back about it. I'm getting on it. Oh, the bug that's Matt probably Bianco. me right now? See, I can read his. Uh, Connor oh, Jamar. Yeah, I'm going to find him. Yeah. Da All right. Da 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 da. John Hancock, you know, TV dude. Hurry up. That's a cool signature. Indeed. Connor didn't even try. All right. Well, thank you for listening or watching. Well, you have nothing left to watch. Yeah, sorry. There's nothing left for you to watch. Goodbye. Oh, is it not going? It it has been quite the experience. The Joe Rogan experience. The Joe Rogan experience, yeah, of course. (laughs) Um, How now am I in? Just want to let you know, um, we'll be back next week. Um, (laughs) Hopefully this bug won't be. Um, This bug is going to be controversial. No, it's not. Thank you for watching, listening, whatever you're doing. I don't know what you're doing, but I don't care because I want to get out of here. All right, we will see you <laughs> thank next you. week. Thank you, Ryan, for being on the show. Bye, thank you. Um, you're obviously welcome back anytime. Bug free, of course. Bug free. I'm going to bring a whole bunch of bugs yeah, next do time. Do? I will do. <laughs> do you want to bet? Mm, I don't want to I will go to Petco. I know. Uh, you, I, I, know I have no, a feeling he would I actually do that. that right? you probably would do it. <laughs> We're not going to do it. I could go to Petco and get a whole bunch of cockroaches. So See and you later. I could bring him we'll in here. Catch you guys soon, not now, but later. Goodbye. Bye.